Traveling 
rugged way. That I may true and faithful be and live for Jesus every day. I want my friends to pray for me to bear my tempted soul above and intercede with God for me. I need the prayers of those I love. I need the prayers of those I love to help me each and trying on. To bear my tempted soul to him, that he may keep me by his cause. I want my friends to pray for me, to bear my tempted soul above, and intercede with God for me. I need the prayers of those I love. Something new, Lord, do something. 
something new. Jesus knew something new in my life. Cast me not away from the presence, Lord. Praise God, praise God, hallelujah. Our oh, Father and our God, Lord, we want to thank you on this morning. Lord, we thank you for waking us up, Lord, and we are in our right mind, Lord. In spite of what is going on all around us, Lord, we still want to worship you. We still want to give you all the honor, the glory, and the praise, for we know for surety, hallelujah, that you are still God and God are by yourself. So this morning we worship and we exalt your name. Holy Spirit, Spirit of the living God, we look to you even now. Lord, hallelujah, as you have commissioned us to go. Lord, we are doing upon which you have commissioned us to do. So Lord, we pray, Lord, that you may go before even now and clear every roadblock, every crooked path in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we pray, hallelujah, for safe passage as we enter even into the enemy territories in the name of Jesus. Lord, you said, until the gospel your gospel is preached to the four corners of the earth then the end will be lord and we see all what is taking place even now lord oh god so we pray heavenly father hallelujah that you will be with us oh god lord we pray oh god even on for this morning for those who are affected over there in that earthquake in turkey and syria lord in the name of jesus hallelujah lord it is evident to see that you're coming is soon and very soon, Lord. When we see all what is happening, scripture is being fulfilling, prophecy, Lord, hallelujah. Help us to pay attention to your signs and to your words, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. For everything in the Bible, Lord, hallelujah, has been revealing right before our eyes, Daddy Jesus. So, Lord, we pray for each and every one. We pray for our young people, our middle aged and our elders, even the, our, our babes, even the babes, hallelujah, Jesus, that was born. Lord, oh God, and we pray that you may help us as parents even to teach the kids the right way, hallelujah, Jesus, to admonish, admonish on Lord, and to worship you and to go send them off to Sunday school. Lord, hallelujah, that they may grow up to learn your word, daddy Jesus, in such a time, in the name of Jesus. Someone this morning who is sick, we pray for healing and deliverance and victory in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Somebody, one is mourning this morning, we pray that you may comfort such a heart in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We pray for the unsaved, the backslider, every man on the corner, every ghetto youth. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Lord, we look to you. Lord, we pray for those who celebrate birthday on. Hallelujah. Even in this month, even Minister Den Den who have just celebrated a birthday. In the name of Jesus Christ. Each and every one. Anniversary. Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord, we pray. Jesus, for everything that will be said and done. On this morning, we pray for the one who will be coming in the word out of Jamaica. We pray, hallelujah, that to be covered under your blood. We beat back every forces of darkness and of hell. We pray, hallelujah, Jesus, oh God, for healing, complete healing, oh God, hallelujah. That her, even her voice will clear up, Lord, hallelujah. Bless your word to our hearts, oh God. The one who will be doing the opening prayer, the scripture reading, hallelujah. Brother Vincent will be coming to do special songs. In the name of Jesus Christ. Bless, oh God, the intercessory prayer after the word on this morning. As you have told us that men are always to pray without ceasing. Lord, hallelujah, help us, Jesus, to continue to pray. Even your disciples, when you were in the garden of Gethsemane, even the hour when you should be, hallelujah, led up to the, in the hands of sinner, you were still praying. And you wanted your disciples them to pray. Hallelujah. But Lord, because they never pray. Hallelujah. When you read down to the scripture, hallelujah, in the verse, in the Matthew, somewhere there, Matthew 24, Matthew 26, verse 56. Lord, hallelujah. It teaches us that they have all fled. They forsook you and they all fled. Jesus, hallelujah, help us to see the need to pray, especially in time like this, that Jesus, help us, Jesus, hallelujah, to continue to pray. Holy Ghost, hallelujah, Jesus. The son of the living God. Bless this program this morning. Bless this get it ministry. Bless every leader, every member. Hallelujah. Bless every home, every family. 
Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ. Bless heal now and deliver. And set free now within by your power. In Jesus' name we pray. And somebody say, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Smart Lord. Oh, oh, oh. Do it, Jesus. In my life. In my life. Against the only have I sinned. And turn evil in thy sight. But I want you to do it for me, Father. Do it for me, Lord, in my life. Oh, do something new, Lord. Do. Praise God, hallelujah. And in time like this, we need the Lord to do something for us on this morning. Let me say a pleasant Sunday morning. Praise God. And we want to give God thanks. We are up and running. We are in our right mind. And it's as much to give him all the honor, the glory, and the praise. Somebody ought to give him a praise. Praise God. We want to greet my beautiful wife, Dick and Spinock, who is already heading on to our 8 o'clock service over there at the Miracle Temple Church. We want to greet our bishop over there, Bishop Gary Bob, to the first lady, Nicole Bob, to all the young ministers over there, to all the wonderful saints on over there at the Miracle Temple Church of God. Also, to Grace Deliverance Church of God, to our bishop, Bishop Mervyn Harding. Good morning to you, my bishop, to the first lady, Shell Harding, to all the wonderful saints on over there, to Dr. Courtney Lou, Dr. Johnny Zardin, Evangelist. Shirley Mason, Vanessa Andrea Adams, to each and every one, wonderful set of people, to the common prayer intercessory ministry, to our pastor, Pastor Busby, and what a prayer on, praise God, Friday night. I'm telling you, praise God, hallelujah. To each and every church family, whether you are a seven-day or you are apostolic or you are a Sunday worshiper, let me say good morning to each and every one. Good morning, good morning. Something new, Jesus do. Something new in my life. Praise God. Let me say good morning to all the leaders on already. Praise God. I want to greet. Praise God. Our road manager, Minister Den Den, as she celebrates birthday a couple of days back. And what a wonderful time we have here on the line. Praise God. She's on the live already too. Her assistant, Ivan Spam Grant, my good friend. I see you already, praise God. My beautiful sister, Evangelist Man Parkson Gifford, the hospitality manager, I see you already, praise God. I see sister, here's the Cunningham already. I see Evangelist Andrea Adams already, praise God. To all the leaders and all the members, we want to greet my good friend, the marketing manager, Evangelist Jean McLean, to the clerk, Evangelist Faye Darby, to the Evangelism Director, Evangelist Claudia Slowly, Evangelist Everine, Evangelist Arlene Sanderson. And I guess maybe she's back. I don't know yet, but I'm saying we want to send greetings to Evangelist Arlene Sanderson. Praise God. Let us hear from you in the next of the wood. Where you, if you are, give us a shout out, Evangelist Arlene Sanderson. Praise God to each and every one, every member. Every friends on this morning, every home, good morning. Praise God. And in my life, in my life do something new. Lord, do something new. Jesus, do something new in my life. God and we want to reach out to my beautiful cousin over there in Florida. Praise God. First Lady Lily Clover Bloomfield and to Minister Reverend Bloomfield. Let me say good morning. Praise God. We know what you all are going through over there. Praise God as you all laid. Praise God. Hallelujah. Your mom on. Praise God. He lay her to rest. That's my aunt. Praise God. So we just want to give a shout out and we, as we continue to pray for the strength of the family. 
Also, condolences to the Giffords family. Also, to the Myris family also. Praise God. So, we have two more. Praise God to give announcement to let you know about the funeral service. Praise God. So, in the meanwhile, let us keep them up in our prayers. Praise you something I want you to do something new. Do something do something. Praise God. Let me say good morning, Sister Marvelyn Wallace, all the way over there in Jamaica, Sheffield, Westmoreland, at the Sheffield. Praise God. New Testament Church of God. Good morning, my good friend. A long time. Love, do it for me, Father. Do it for me, Father. Wash me, mold me, break me, fill me, fill me, Lord. Do it, do it, Lord. God, and do remember we have a special guest speaker on this morning, all the way out of Kingston, Jamaica, this morning from the New Testament Church of God. Praise God, Minister Stacy Ann Colgorn. Praise God. So get everybody out early. Praise God. We have a powerful, praise God, young minister on this morning, just graduated from the Bethel Bible College. Praise God. So we have a wonderful anointed young miss on this morning. Praise God. So get everybody out. Get the family out. As we are in healing and deliverance. Sir. You've been running, running. Yes, Sister Wallace, give my love to the saints over there at the Sheffield New Testament Church of God. Nice to see you on. For a long, long time. to share the page somebody want to get on on your end this morning as we are in healing and deliverance service so i want everybody to share the page this morning and you can share as many times as you want to do so praise god so i want to see everybody share the page let me say good morning to the tapas family ivan is done a tapa good morning Vanless Betty Brown. Vanless Rosary. Vanless Lorna Hewitt. You've been living, living all your life in sin. To my good friend, the marketing manager, Ivanis Jean McLean. Good morning. And you've been seeking, seeking everything but him. Just put it up, praise God. You can financially bless this ministry by going into the byways and the hedges, by calling the number you see on the screen, or by using Zell. Any small amount is greatly needed, praise Around. God. And as we give, let us give out of the abundance of our heart, praise God. Give, and it shall be given back unto you. As long as you sow into good ground. I know you roll. Can't you see God the Father? Wish to welcome you home. You are never meant to walk the path you're... If this ministry have been a blessing.
blessing to you over the past two and a half years. Praise God. Hallelujah. Let us give from the abundance of our heart. Praise God. Hallelujah. And it shall be given back unto you. Multiply and press down and shake. Praise God. And running over. Hallelujah. Run. How long can you run away? Praise God, the opening prayer also will be coming out of Jamaica. Praise God from my deacon over there. Praise God, Deacon Harriet, my longtime bonafide deacon. Praise God, hallelujah. So we hope for a good time in the Lord. This long lost child. God's been calling, calling. on the live this morning tell somebody early church on this morning if you hear his voice make him your choice don't remain a fugitive from god why don't you turn 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 around why do you roam can't you see god the father Welcome you home. You are never meant to walk the path you've trod. How long can you run away, a fugitive from God? How long can you run away, a fugitive from God? We are in healing and deliverance service each and every Sunday morning. Praise God. So we are asking this morning. Praise God. That you should bring on all the sick on this morning. Some days drag. Some days. As we continue to pray also for the people over in Turkey and Syria. Some days fly. Some days I think. Are you ready to worship? Let me see all the hands of all those who are ready to worship. Some days weary, some days drain, and one day my this is the get it ministry. Jesus, we go to every home. We'll call everybody we and hate you with the word of God. Somebody said the word of God. One day, the word of God, their spirit and their life. It is our special vitamin and tonic. We'll call my name yes. as days go by. Some days drag, some days fly. To every man on the corner, every get to you. Some my unsafe friends, I think. Everybody, about the day I will not leave out nobody. We're not leaving out anyone. I'll die. This is our ministry. Some days we, and we are on a move. Three. Tell somebody this is a move. Some days this is a move of pain. Somebody say a mighty move. Ah, Jesus will call my Tell somebody follow the movement. This is a move of God. One day. Follow the movement. Hey, Holy Ghost. Jesus will call my name. Everybody. As days go by, I hope I don't stay the same. Yeah. I want to get so Somebody's no time now to sleep. No time to idle around or to sleep. Everybody, everybody. Some days drag. Some days fly. Yeah. Some days I. That's my good friend, Ivan. It's Mary Price. I see you. Good morning. Think 
Have a wake up, everybody. Get them on the live. Let them know they get it. Ministry is live. All time. Some days weary. Some days train. And one day, man. Wherever you are, Jesus will be traveling by land. Here are the sea. All my name. We'll be traveling by bus, car, and even the plane, or even train. One day, Jesus, stop by for a moment. He'll call my name. As His ministry is passing your way. Oh, my. I hope I don't stay first. Yes, yes, we are in your home. Same. We are in your town. I want to get so. We are in your village. So close to him. We are in your community. That is so change on that day. let me say good morning sister tanya ricketts johnson nice to see you all hey, well, Jesus. this is the good news somebody said the good news let me say good morning to the tapas family my good friend Ivan is done a tapa to the tapas family. Good morning. Everybody tune in. Everybody ropey. Follow the move. Follow the move of God. Most days I pray. My beautiful sister Sion, uh, hospitality manager. Some days I curse. I said number of days. Yes, God, yes, my good friend Ivan is gonna tap a uh, prayer and blessing upon blessing and peace. I just put myself. Let us continue to pray. Yes, but it's pray until something happens. Not I what I pray until you get your breakthrough. To continue to pray. The prospect that plane and someday my Jesus Everybody. will call my Everybody. name. Everybody. 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 Praise God, brother Gary Steve over there in England to you all and the family over there, my brother. Good morning. And I guess maybe it's evening over there. Now. He's gonna name. call my name. Everybody get on the page this morning. Everybody share. On a beautiful Sunday morning. You get it. Ministry is passing to your town. You'll find you wherever you are. You may be at work or going to work. I hope I don't stay you may be at home fixing breakfast. Oh, help me, Lord, help me. Stop for a while. Oh, As we pass through, the Gettin Ministry is on the move. Somebody said the Gettin Ministry. Some, some days drag, some days fly. This is a Holy Ghost move. Tell somebody this is a Holy Ghost move. Fly. Some days I think about the day I'll die. This is a Holy Ghost move. Fly. Some days we. Oh, 
some days I curse. It's a blessing. I said number of days. It's a blessing to wake up and to tune into the Get It Ministry. What a blessing. I just what a blessing, my good friend. Praise God. Evans Peggy Palmer Good Chris. Good morning. Myself first, but it's not what I do. God and Evangelist Peggy Palmer saying, Let's praise the Lord. The prospect that plays His word and someday my Jesus will call my name. One day Jesus, one day Jesus, as we continue to pray for the people over in Turkey and Syria. And that earthquake, what a devastating earthquake on over there. Praise God. All the days, the days go, the days go by, the Lord. Praise God. We want to greet our minister. She's on the live. Praise God. She go by the name of Skylar First Love Andy. Praise God. That's Minister Stacy. Praise God. She's on the live. She'll be coming with the word. This morning out of Kingston. Oh, I'm the New Testament Church of God over there in Kingston. Oh, I wanna, I wanna live so close to him. It's gonna be no change. I wanna send a shout out to Pastor Clive Abraham over there too. Oh, 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 oh. I wanna greet on the live a mighty man of God, brother, minister, Nathaniel. Solomon, let me say greetings to you, my minister. Well, nice to see you. Hey, Jesus, we'll call my name as days go by. No man know the minute or the second. Not even the next hour from his throne. Some days drag. So let us hold fast. Some days. Who is on changing our days fly. For we never know. Some days. When our number should be called About the day I'll so Let us stay focused as we continue to pray Everybody Some days everybody, weary everybody, 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 Some everybody. days train Worship. And one day my Jesus Yes, Mr. Solomon, I see you, sir Will call my name Let me say good morning to Evangelist Betty Brown <laughs> One day, Jesus She'll be coming a little more power pack woman of God. She'll be coming a little more after the word to pray. Praise God, intercessor prayer, and all the other members. Praise God. She'll be on also next Sunday. She'll be coming with the word. Ivan Lispetti Bro. We'll call my name. And we book out for the, the rest of the year. Praise God. Hallelujah. As days go by, I hope I don't stay the same. I wanna get so a shout out to the Browns family. That's Ivan Lispetti Brown and Brother Brown over there. Close to him, that is no big change on that day. Minister Solomon, stand by. We have to find some space to squeeze you. For the rest of the year, we book out, but we go and squeeze you. Jesus, calls my name. God, Ivan Smear Price said her internet is giving her trouble. But we are saying, internet, behave yourself this morning, internet. We don't want no interruption from no internet this morning. So in the name of Jesus, internet, behave yourself. We put you under subjection, internet. God, my beautiful sister saying my fingers giving me problems, so I'm not going to be able to comment a lot today. Continue to pray for me. In the name of Jesus, even now, praise God. We pray that everything will go well with you, my sister. Praise God. As we continue to pray, hallelujah. Sometimes even the little things we pray about. Our oh, Father and our God, Lord, we pray we know that, oh God, you will be late, oh God. Your anointed servant finger now line up and function in the way in which you've created them to function. In the name of Jesus, we stand up on your word. Hallelujah. And we call it done in Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. You know something as we were discussing last night in our family. Praise God. Bible seminar. Hallelujah. I want to greet my family. Praise God. The Campbell's family. Minister Marlon Campbell. 
Anissa Campbell and Caleb Campbell, let me say good morning to you. Praise God. Last night we have our Bible seminar, which we have each and every Saturday night over some 15 years now going on. And I'm telling you, praise God, Caleb is coming out to lead out. Praise God. I'm telling you, man, praise God. To God be the glory. As we were saying, praise God, some of the things as children of God, we are taking them and claiming them, but tell somebody we're not claiming nothing. Uh, when you go to the doctor and doctor give you a bad report, not take it, leave it in at the office, same place. I tell you already, I had a brother, the, I go to the doctor that day and I leave. He won't ask me all type of questions. I say, doctor, I leave everything in your office now in the name of Jesus. <laughs> scorpion and serpent shall not harm us even if we pick up any deadly thing children of god let us stand on what we believe god, stand on our fear somebody stand on your feet praise god some days drag, some days fly, fly. some days I think about the day I'll die. Some days weary, some days strain, and one day my Jesus will call my name. One day. and his disciples were traveling on a boat on a sea on the sea they wanted was jesus ordered them to get into the boat to go over the other side but the scripture said they arose from nowhere just imagine from nowhere praise god they arose a mighty wind on the storm on the sea praise god so while jesus was sleeping in the boat the disciples they were now worried and wondering so they went on to wake up jesus praise god hallelujah so Jesus wake, and the scripture said, he caught, immediately he rebuked the storm to calm. Praise God. And Jesus looked at them now and said, where is your faith? Praise God. Hallelujah. This morning we are saying, as children of God, let us stand on our feet. <laughs> were focusing instead of they should focus on over the other side hallelujah for there was work to be done over the, on the other side they were focusing on the storm hallelujah feel god all up in this place already praise god the valley speaking palm and everyone before they focus on the other side for jesus told him let us go over on the other side for when you read on in further of the scripture 
Praise God. There was work to be done over the other side. And hear what they were doing. Praise God. Focusing on the storm. Meanwhile, Jesus was sleeping. Tell somebody this morning, if Christ is sleeping, how come you are weak? Go on, go sleep. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. If God is in the vessel, if God is in our lives, what are we worrying about? Most days I pray. Praise God. want to greet and the life. Praise God. Hallelujah. A stalwart to this ministry, my good friend. Praise God. The marketing manager, Evangelist Jean McLean, my good friend. But some days I curse. As they were worrying themselves, Evangelist Peggy Palmer and everyone on the life. They were worrying because water started coming up in the boat. And they seemed like now they go and drown. But Jesus was in the boat. The scripture said, fast asleep. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. And when they went and wake up Jesus, my good friend, Ivan St. McLean, Jesus came to see immediately. Jesus looked at them and said, where is your feet? Hallelujah. Praise God. That's why the word of God said, without feet is impossible to please him. The number of days I just put myself first. Is there somebody we talking about the most start seed feet? Not what I do. If we have faith, just on a tip of a mustard seed, the cross we can say to the mountain, that plain. tell somebody we're talking about the mustard seed faith. And someday my Jesus will come. God and Valis Palm, I say, if God is in the vessel, we will ride out the storm. Praise All God. my name. One day, Jesus. One day, Jesus. Call He's going to call my name. So I will like the story of the three Hebrew boys also and Daniel in the lands then. Praise God for the three Hebrew boys. I like that one more. Praise God because Nebuchadnezzar out of the fire to have seven more times to drive fear in those three Hebrew boys. But the three Hebrew boys, they tell Nebuchadnezzar, if you had it, no matter one amount of time. As a matter of fact, I believe they even want to tell him so. If only speak palm and everyone on the live, if they even want, if he even want had to a hundred times more. They still not go and bow. Praise God. Hallelujah. Tell someone stand on what to believe in. And because the three Hebrew boys stand on their feet, it was Nebuchadnezzar now. Because Nebuchadnezzar want to drive fear. But after a while, a Nebuchadnezzar feet child tremble. For he said, No, he threw three men in the fire. And it seems like a fourth one. And it seems like the son of the living God. Stand on our feet, the wicked have to tremble. Close to him, it's gonna be no change. My good friend Ivan Steen McLean, ride out the storm. Ride out the storm with your feet. One day, Jesus. The vessel of feet. in the vessel of faith man yeah man praise god god in the vessel and with the world itself praise god we want to greet on the live praise god i started to this ministry also she been started out with us a long time my good friend evangelist every in good of Jesus calling, who will go and work today? Feels a white 
and harvest waiting. Who will bear the sheaves today? Little is much when God is in it. Labor not for wealth or fame. There's a crown and you can win it if you go. Jesus name When the calm flick here is ended and the race down here is run he will say, if you are faithful, welcome home, my child, well done. Little is much when God is in it, labor not. When Christ is in the vessel, God, we will smile at the star. For when a why worry? For there is a why worry when we have Christ in our life? And you can win it if you go in Jesus' name. Little for everyone on the live, I pull it back also for my good friend Ivan Lishin Let me say good morning, Ivan Lona Huey, Ivan Lish Marcia Lawrence, Ivan Lish Rosary, four beautiful sisters of Jesus calling. Praise God, and Minister Denden is saying, Mary, Ivan Lish Marcia Parks to the first healing in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Who will go we pronounce healing, healing, healing and work over the lives of God's people today? Let God healing flow feels our wise and harvest waiting. Deliver your people, send down your healing. This morning, Chiefs today, let's see them deliver and set free. Little is much when God is in it, labor not for wealth or fame. There's a crown, and you can win it. If you go in Jesus' name, when the calm flick here is ended, praise God, our Father, our God, Lord, your servant, as she placed in the commentary box. Hallelujah, you said we should make our requests be known unto you. And Ivanis Jean McLean have put, praise God, type in the commentary box even now for prayer for her client, praise God, Sister Marlene over there. Lord, you who started that good work as she's home recuperating and even as she's up in age. Hallelujah, Jesus, your servant. Hallelujah, we pray for complete healing in the name of Jesus. We pray that to me add some more years to her life that even she may live, Lord, hallelujah, even, even some more years, Jesus, hallelujah. Whatever, Jesus, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, cover her now, hallelujah. Cover Jesus, we turn by your power, Holy Ghost, as we come in agreement and we call it done in Jesus' name. And the race 
down here is wrong he will say if you are faithful Father and our God, Lord, we lift up the people over there in Turkey and Syria and before you, Lord, hallelujah, of that devastating earthquake that hit, oh, hallelujah, Lord, in the name of Jesus, we pray, Jesus, hallelujah, Jesus, that you may cover Jesus, hallelujah, those who are still alive, Lord, hallelujah, Jesus, cover them, we pray for strength, we pray, hallelujah, that you may comfort the hearts of every family over there, that is Jesus, hallelujah. We place them in your hands. Jesus, you know everything, Lord. Hallelujah. So, Lord, what more can we do but to pray and to cry out to you? So, Lord, we pray that to may Jesus intervene in this situation now. While we give you all the praise, the honor, and the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Let's God, let me say good morning, Sister Lorraine. Gilpin to the Gilpin's family. Good morning. Even not for wealth of faith. If you go in Jesus' name, even we here in America, Kobe, England, Canada, Jamaica, every island, every country, every continent, pray for coverage over your people. When God is in it, labor not for wealth or pain. And you can win it if you go in Jesus' name. Praise God as we are waiting now on the opening prayer from out of Jamaica. Praise God from a deacon. Praise God, deacon. Harriet calling all the way out of Jamaica to give us the opening prayer. So at this time, we'll just take the call. Praise God. Praise God. Let me say good morning, my good friend Deacon. How is everything going on over there? Good morning, Miss uh, Pinnock. Yeah, well, How are I'm you, sir? Nice to hear your voice, son. And I know everyone on the live. Praise God. This is my good yeah. friend. Praise God. We've been in ministry for a very long time. Praise God. Hallelujah. Right. That's Deacon Harriet. Hallelujah. Praise God. He's Praise in Jamaica. God. Praise God. So he want to call us this morning. Hallelujah. To give us the open prayer. But yes. before he do, I don't know if he wanted to say something. Pray and then he say something. Praise God. So at this time, my deacon, praise God. The floor is yours. Hallelujah. Whether you want to pray yes, first good and then say something. Or if you want to say something, you know, it matter. Yes. Good morning. Good morning to Riddleland. Uh, um, I'm in Jamaica and I'm able to say hello. Good morning. You know, it's a privilege for me to be able to say good morning and greet a word of prayer on behalf of the ministry. Brother Pinnock has been able to do something that many of us cannot do and will never able to do. He's able to have a ministry that will able to pray and preach and give God the glory for his wisdom in Christianity. This morning, I'm in Windsor Heights right now just preparing to go to church but because god has led me to Hallelujah. say something to your people i'm able to say morning to new york morning to every areas of concern in the ministry that christ is able to live for us and we live for christ brother pinock i appreciate you being able to say brother harriet pray for the community but first i'm saying you are a stalwart. You are a man of God, and you will never change. Your desire to worship and to be a progress in the kingdom of God is always 100%. So I'm endorsing you this morning to say that we love you and we adore you. I'm at my brother's house right now, standing, and he's hearing me. My sister-in-law is hearing me. 
and my neighbor is hearing me, Hallelujah. that we are live, live, live on the air in New York. So your program consists of praying and fasting and giving God thanks for a ministry that is able to do things that many cannot do. So I'm going to pray a prayer right now that your ministry will continue to be what it is. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I give you thanks and praise and, and glory to your name. You are able, my God, in every area. We are not. We are depending on you, God. And so we are weak, but thou art strong. And we ask you, God, to hold us with your powerful hand. And as we call upon your name, dear Lord, we know that we cannot make it without you. We know that we are depending on you. And so we ask for a blessing. Father God, I ask you to cover us, cover the whole universe, cover Brother Pinup and his wife, cover the ministry, my God, cover every member of the family, cover her families near and far in the United States, in Canada, and even in Hanover. Lord, I thank you and I give you praise. I'm in my brother's house right now and he's hearing me. And so I know. Brother Harriet Cephas Harriet is my brother. And he is a man of God, but he is not a Christian. He worships by saying, Lord, have mercy. But he is not ready to give his life to the Lord as yet. And I am praying that it will be soon that he will be joining the bandwagon. So, Brother Pinup, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whatever you have for the program this morning, will be able to be so much to the people who are listening. God bless you, keep you, guide you, and protect you. Hello to Sister Pinup. Hello to the members of your cabinet. I give thanks and praise. Brother Pinup, I love you dearly. God bless you and have a decent and wonderful day. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, I say amen and amen. Praise God, praise God. And it's such a wonderful blessing, my deacon. We've been coming from far. Praise God. We're in our yes. ministry over so many years now. Hallelujah. Praise yes. God. And you are truly a man of God also. I learn a lot from you even coming here in America. I'm telling you, you are one of the, praise God, out of the many few that I'm telling you I look up to because I learned so much from you. Praise God. And you are truly a man of God. And may you continue, praise God, to be who God wanted to be. And I know nothing going to change you and nobody can change you. Praise God. And no, I can speak praise. for you. Hallelujah. Praise yes. God. So we want to thank God also for technology. For who would believe say? Yes. Who would believe say technology could spread God's word? Hallelujah. When we hear the Bible talk about, praise God, that until the gospel is preached to the four corners of the earth, then the end. So that's alone for let people realize so that God coming is at hand. For none of us yes. would know that technology would be able to spread God's word like this. And just imagine yes. you couldn't travel, you couldn't travel if you come back to America if you come give the opening prayer this morning. Only by we are technology right now, this could have performed. Praise God. For you are yes. so many miles away. Yes. Hallelujah. And before you go, I want praise God. I don't know if you have anyone want to say, even just to say hi. Praise God. Even to say hi, because that's what we want to do too. We want to connect back to every home. Hallelujah. I didn't say so. Praise God. So just yes, identify. Yes, yes, the floor is just praise God. We just want to give you the opportunity. Praise God. For this is what God wants to see. Hallelujah. When a home, when family, yes. even the community, every man on the corner, yes. when we can come together as one, we're going to have a better world. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God this morning. We bless all the preachers around the world this morning, all the pastors, all the churches around the world. When I, I can remember them, I just said, they not the east, the west, and the south, because we are his people, and we praise him this morning, in Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Praise and I am Mr. Um, um, Mr. Joshua Breda, wife. Oh, praise God. Praise God. Hope to praise meet you one of the time. And, nice. Yes, praise sir. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Anybody praise else? Lord. Anybody no, else? No, right now. Okay. No, pray. not right now. Okay. So that we have to be the east and the west and the south. All of us, we all belong to one man. Amen. Yeah, man. One God. Hallelujah. Yes. Praise God. So be blessed. Deacon praise Harriet. Praise the Lord. Deacon, my yes. Deacon, praise God. is a blessing, yes, man. And
Praise God. Hurry up and come back for we miss you. Praise God. Hallelujah. All right. Yeah, man. <laughs> we, we'll talk. Praise God. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Vadikan. Praise God. Yes, God bless you. Yeah, man. Yeah, praise you. Hallelujah. Okay. All right. Okay, to okay. the family. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. God. Bless you. Yes, praise God. Hallelujah. What a blessing. Praise God. What a blessing. Somebody say to God be the glory. Hallelujah. What a blessing we can connect. Praise God. Hallelujah. That is Deacon Harriet. Praise God. All the way from Jamaica. And what a blessing to know that we can connect. Praise God. By way of technology. Somebody ought to give God a praise. Praise God. At this time, now we are waiting and praise God. The scripture reading by Evangelist Fedabri. Praise God. Evangelist Fedabri, wherever you are, at this time, please to call in to do the scripture reading. Praise God. That's the clerk. That's the clerk for this get it ministry. Praise God. Evangelist Fedabri, wherever you are, wherever you are, at this time, we want you to call in to give us the scripture reading. Praise God. Hallelujah. We are waiting on Ivanis Fidari. Hallelujah. We bow down and worship Yahweh. Praise God. We say good morning, Ivanis Fidari, the clerk for this Get It Ministry. And you are doing a wonderful job. Good morning. Good morning, brother Peter. Good morning. Praise God. Nice to hear you. Praise God. As you have called upon to do the opening scripture. So at this time, the floor is yours, my good friend. Okay, give me a minute. I'm coming. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. In the meanwhile, also, praise God, we want... My beautiful sister to line up, praise God. Her husband over there, Brother Vincent, will be coming next, praise God, after, praise God, the scripture reading. Hallelujah. Okay. Yeah, the scripture reading this morning, taken from Isaiah 10, verse 10 to 20. As my hand has found the kingdoms, of the idols, and whose grave images did excel them of Jerusalem and of Samaria. Shall I not, as I have done unto Samaria and her idols, so do to Jerusalem and her idols? Therefore, it shall come to pass that when the Lord has performed his whole work upon Mount Zion and on Jerusalem, I will punish the fruit of the stout heart of the kingdom of Asria and the glory of his high looks. For he said, by the strength of thy hand, I have done it, and by my wisdom, for I am prudent, and I have removed the bonds of the people and have robbed their treasures, and I have put down the inhabitants like a violent man. And my hand had found as a nest the riches of the people, and as one gathered eggs that are left, that are left, have I gathered all the earth, and there was none that moved the wing or opened the mouth of people. Have, 
are peeped, shall the axe boost itself against him that he let, that he let there with, or shall the saw magnify itself against him that shaketh it, as if the rod should shake itself against them that lift, lift it up, or as if the staff should lift up itself as if it were no wood. Therefore shall the Lord, the Lord of hosts, send among his fat ones leanness under his glory. He shall kindle a burning like the burning of fire and the light of Israel shall be for a fire and his holy one for a flame and it shall burn and devour his thorns and his berries in one day and shall consume the glory of his forest and his fruitful field, both soul and body, and they shall be as when a standard barrier fainted. And the rest of the trees of his forest shall be few that a child may write them. Verse 20. And it shall come to pass in that day that the remnant of Israel and such as are escaped of the house of Jacob shall no more again say upon him that smite them but shall stay upon the Lord the Holy One of Israel in truth here ended the reading of the praise God praise God wonderful wonderful praise God wonderful to the clerk praise God and she's doing a wonderful job praise God I don't know if you want to say something for a minute before you go. Praise God. I just want to say that um, I'm very happy to be alive and to worship with people and to let them know that we are still working hard for heaven bound. So I just give thanks for God's merciful blessing upon me and my family and also to other people who are joined with us. And we will continue to pray and worship God because that's the way. Praise God, praise God. Thank you so much. Praise God, Evangelist Faye Darby. And I know you'll be back there tomorrow, praise God, in your yes. intercessory prayer um, for the word. Praise God. So be blessed, woman of God, and thank you so much. And you and you be blessed too. Praise God. Thank you so much. Praise God. Hallelujah. You're what welcome. a blessing. What a blessing. Praise God. We want to greet on the live at this time in the praise God. Evangelism director, Evangelist Claudia. Slowly, my good friend. Praise God. And we want to hear from her daughter out there too in the next of the wood, even to come and to say something. Praise God. While we wait on, praise God, brother. Vincent Gifford over there in Jamaica. Praise God. We want to run it on time because we want to give the speaker as much time. Praise God. And the road manager is just type up to all the Get It Ministry leaders. This is a reminder that our upcoming leader meeting will be on February the 21st at 7.30 p.m. That's Tuesday, February the 21st at 7.30 p.m. So get it on your calendar, each and every one. Praise God. Our leaders meeting will be on February 
That's Tuesday, February the 21st at 7.30 p.m. So get that date down. Praise God. As we wait now, praise God. And Brother Vincent, praise God, out of Jamaica. Remember, there's a word on this morning. God, let me say good morning, Brother Vincent Gifford. How are you, sir? And to the Giffords family over there, and to all the associate family of yours. And praise God, your ex wife. Praise God. Hallelujah. How are you, my brother? Yes, I'm. Morning, my brother. Morning. I'm hanging in there, so still alive and well. Yeah, man. We have to just hold on in there, you know, hold on tight. Yeah. Praise God. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. You know. Yeah, man, we know what you're going through over there. Praise God and the passing of your ex-wife and all of that. But, you know, with God yes, in the vessel, praise God. Hallelujah. We can make it true. With Christ in true, the vessel, true, true, we can true. make it true. Praise God. So yes, at this man. time, praise God, the floor is yours. And we know that, you know, it's a pleasure, you know, when you come on to sing for us, to bless our heart. And to bless our souls, and the life is already full. Praise God. So the floor is yours. And we want to just say to all, to the Get It Ministry and everyone, this is Brother Vincent Gifford, the husband of my beautiful sister, Ivan Lisman Parks and Gifford, the hospitality manager. And he always come on to bless us. Praise God. So at this time, we want to introduce now to you, Brother Vincent Gifford out of Jamaica. Praise God. Go ahead, my brother. Thank you, my brother. Thank you one more time. It's good to be on the program as always. Singing and giving thanks to the Lord in music and just in all form as well. As I travel through this pilgrim land, there's a friend who walks with me. Hallelujah, Jesus. Lead me safely to the sinking sand. It is the Christ of Calvary. This will be my prayer, dear Lord. Each day to help to do the best I can. For I need that light to guide me day and night. Blessed Jesus, please hold my hand. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hold your hand, Jesus. Blessed Jesus, hold my hand. Yes, I need the every hour to this land. And this pilgrim land protect me by thy saving power here, my plea, my plea, plea. Oh, the Lord, look down on me when I kneel in prayer, blessed Jesus. Hold my hand. Let me travel in the light divine that I may see thy blessed way. Keep me that I may be holy thine and sing redemption song someday. I will be a soldier, brave and true, and ever firmly take a stand. As I and word go, daily meet the foe. Blessed Jesus, please hold my hand. 
Blessed Jesus, oh, and yes, I need the area. To this land, this pilgrim land, protect me by thy saving power. Hear my plea, my people plea. Oh, the Lord, look down on me when I kneel in prayer. I hope to meet you there, blessed Jesus, hold my hand. Praise God. When I wander through the valley, dim towards the setting of the sun. Praise God, hallelujah. Lead me safely to a land of rest. If I a crown of life have won, I have put my faith in thee, dear Lord, that I may reach the golden strand. There's no other friend in whom I can depend. Blessed Jesus, please hold my hand. Yes, I say, blessed Jesus, Jesus hold oh, my hand. Bless yes, I need thee every hour. Hallelujah. Through Jesus. this land, Glory, Jesus. this building land, protect me by thy saving power. Hear my plea, my Please. Yes, the Lord, look down on me when I kneel in prayer. I hope to meet you there, blessed Jesus, hold my hand. Yes, I say, blessed Jesus, please hold my hand. Yes, Lord, I need thee every hour. Through this land, this pilgrim land, protect me by thy saving power. Hear my plea, my plea, plea. Yes, dear Lord. Look down on me when I kneel in prayer. I hope to meet you there. Blessed Jesus, please hold my hand. Hallelujah, Hallelujah Jesus. Bless you, Jesus. Indeed, Lord of mercy. Yes, in time like this, praise God, we need the Savior. My brother in law, to hold our hand, and we are praying, hallelujah, with every one of us on the live in this get it ministry. Praise God. We are praying that one of this day, hallelujah, that God, hallelujah, will lead you home. Praise God to glory, hallelujah, to come and to praise Him and to praise God. Minister, if I know God have a calling upon your life, my brother in law, praise God. And we see God is using Amen. you mightily, praise God. But there are greater things. Ahead for you to do, my brother in law. Praise God. So you know you can't sing one song neither. Praise God. You know, whenever time you can come and bless us is only one song. Praise God. So as a matter of fact, me tell you from now, whenever you come, make sure so you have at least two songs. Hallelujah <laughs> ready. Praise God. For you know you don't just tease you up right now. So you can't leave you with one yes, song. Praise Brother. God. We're all praising the Lord and giving thanks, man. It's sweet and so good, and it pleases me to give thanks and praises and to praise Him with others. Yeah. And to rejoice with others just as well. How sweet and happy seem those days of which I dream. Hallelujah. When memory recalls them now and then. And with that rapture sweet, 
my weary heart would beat if I could hear my mother pray again. Oh, if I could hear my mother pray again, if I could hear her tender voice as then, so glad that I'll be, it wouldn't mean so much to me. If I could hear my mother pray again. She used to pray that I and Jesus would rely and always walk the shining gospel way. So trusting still his love, I seek that home above. Where I shall meet my mother some glad day. Oh, yes, if I could hear Glory my mother pray again. If I could hear her tender voice as then. So glad I'd be. It wouldn't mean so much to me if I could hear Hallelujah. my mother pray again. Within the Jesus. old home place, her patient smiling face was always spreading comfort, hope, and cheer. And when she used to sing to her eternal king, was the song the angels love to hear. Only if I could hear my mother pray again. Yes, if I could hear her tender voices as then. So glad I would be, it would mean so much to me if I could hear my mother pray again. Her work on earth is done, and her life crown has been won. And she will be at rest with him above. And some glad morning she, I know, will welcome me to that eternal home of peace and love. Only if I could hear my mother pray again. Lord, if I could only hear Jesus. her tender voice as then, Hallelujah. so glad I would be, and it would mean so much to me. If I could hear my mother pray again, if I could hear my mother pray again, if I could only hear her tender voice as then, so glad I would be, it would mean so much to me. If I could only hear my mother pray, Again, praise God, hallelujah. Yeah, what a voice singing unto the yeah, Lord, Lord and to God's yeah. people. What a voice, praise God, as we continue, hallelujah, to pray up his strength, praise God, in the Lord, hallelujah. For we know one day, hallelujah, praise God, God will come true for him, praise God, my brother in law. I'm telling you, man, everyone, you'll be. Your sister Ivan Spetcher Brown is saying, Hallelujah, praise, Hallelujah, praise God, Hallelujah. 
Evans Mary Price said, We bless the name of the Lord. Evans Claudia Slow is saying, Praise God. Everybody, Evans is every and everybody. Praise God. Hallelujah. So before you go, my brother and I praise God. I don't, I want to give you a minute to say something for God's people. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for having me again, Evan. I appreciate it. All the condolences from all the folks there. And for reaching out to me as well. Thank you all for your support. You're sending it out and it is reaching me. So give thanks, you know. And may you all continue to be blessed. And for you ever, may your ministry continue to grow and grow and grow. My brother, we are on the line. And I don't believe I'll be falling off, so I'm just hanging on, man. So bless up all you folks out there. It's a pleasure being on the show with you guys. Hope we can continue. Amen. Praise God. And praise God. One of my ministers over there in Jamaica, praise God, is saying that's minister. Nathaniel Solomon, he's saying, what a man can sing. Sing for God, my brother. And I'm telling you, minister, praise God. Hallelujah. We are saying, we say that to Obama. We never see a man can sing so for God. Hallelujah. This man seemed like God have a mark on him for a long time. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. But in the fullness of time, hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we want to thank God for you, my brother-in-law, and continue. Everybody's truly been blessed. I know your wife, too, and the life. Praise God, my beautiful sister, Pumpkin. Hallelujah. Ivan is born Parks and Gifford. I just imagine how much for if me can feel so happy in my spirit. Hallelujah. Much more your beautiful wife. Hallelujah. Praise God. So we want to greet all the family over there. Give the family over there all love from all of us here from the Get It Ministry as we continue to pray. Hallelujah. So be blessed, my brother-in-law, and thank you so much. Hallelujah. Praise God. Yeah, man. Thanks again so much, and it's my pleasure, my man. Okay, okay, my brother. Praise God. Hallelujah. What a blessing. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What a blessing. Praise God. Somebody say, what a blessing. Somebody say, what a blessing. Praise God. Somebody say, what a blessing. <laughs> What a voice. Tears help me Are you truly be blessed out there, Radio Land? Remember, I'm your Radio Land. There is too much. Praise God as minister. Praise God. Little more will do that. Praise God. The praise God. The road manager is saying, Little more. Praise God. She's been led to spray. Praise God for America. Praise God. Hallelujah. So. Praise God, our own manager. I don't know if you want to do it. Praise God, I send you the link. So, little more, praise God, hallelujah. Or if you want to do it before, praise God. As we know, waiting on also the beautiful daughter of Ivan Claudia slowly, that Sister Tamar, Sister Tamara Trail. Praise God, I don't I want you to call in at this time to say something out there in Radio Land. We, we want to encourage every young pe person, praise God. We want to encourage our young people also. We want to encourage every man. Praise God. Hallelujah. For this is our ministry. Praise God. That God has rise up to encourage even myself, brother Pino. Praise God. So we want to hear from, praise God, our young people. One of our young people on this morning, the beautiful daughter of Evangelist Claudia Slowly, Sister Tamara Trail, wherever you are, please so call. No, praise God. Hallelujah. As we are waiting now also on the speakers. Good morning. Let me say good morning. Praise God. This is the beautiful daughter of Ivan Sklada slowly, Sister Tamara. Definitely. Trim. Praise God. Thank it's you. a blessing. Thank you. Nothing, cannot, nothing cannot done before the time. Isn't God wonderful? Praise God. Most definitely. I'm telling you, praise God. And I don't uh, know, praise God, not because you have not yet get saved, but I notice you always been on this program. Praise God. And I know your mom too. Ivan Sklada slowly. Is a good friend of mine and also my wife. We are good friends. Praise God. Coming out from far. Praise God. So I know Definitely. your mom has maybe 
you know, teach you the right way too. But we are here as a ministry to encourage each and every one. Even myself, my brother yeah. Pinock, I have kids and I have grandkids. So we love each and every one. So at this time, I want you to praise God, to say something to us, even for a minute or two, praise God, to let you know also that we care about young people too. Praise God. Definitely. Good morning to everybody. And um, what I would just like to say that I really get a lot of inspiration and a lot of positive vibes from your program, Mr. Pinnock. And I'm very, very truly blessed that I, my mom has taught me how to live up and to follow through and follow the good works of the Most High. Praise God. And I hope that one day, praise God, I hope that one day, you know, soon and very soon, because as you know, praise God, sometimes sin keep you out there longer than we expected. <laughs> sometimes we really want to come, but every time we want to come, there's a rustle and tussle. But we have to make up our mind, praise God, because as you know, we are living in serious time and time waits on yes. no man. So as we continue yes. to pray for you, praise God, hallelujah. And before you go, I want to pray. Oh, Father and oh God, Lord, we want to thank you on this morning. As we lift up our young people before you, even, oh God, Sister Tamara Trail, Lord, and in the name of Jesus, as she have called in and she said, this program has been a blessing to her. Lord, we pray even, oh God, that you may order her footstep, Jesus, that you may serve her for your kingdom. Lord, in the name of Jesus, bless her now, Jesus. Bless everything that she put her hand to. Help her to do well, even at her workplace. In the name of Jesus, bless now, Jesus. Bless, hallelujah, heal and deliver and set her free. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Praise God. And you know, truly, praise God. We here yes. in this Get it ministry, we love you. Praise God. Hallelujah. Continue. <laughs> yes, and I'm loving the Get it ministry as well. I love it. And um, uh, I was just looking on the topic that then, then said, will you stand after you understand the requirements of God? And I was just meditating on it and just getting the Bible and reading up on that for all. Praise God. And it's an and so I'm telling you, is a young minister coming this morning to with the word. Is a young minister just, wow. just graduated from Bethel Bible College. Praise God. She wow. will be coming with the word this morning. Praise God. And I'm telling you, we always talk. Uh, we know young people, especially young people. Praise God. We know that most young people, they are intelligent. I'm telling you, because even myself, I have some kids and I know young people. They are intelligent, and I'm telling you, even technology. When it take we all of folks all one year for <laughs> learn some on the computer, the liquid is a baby. For even Caleb, now we are six. Caleb, they teach me mm -hmm. some things about computer right now. So we know, right. and we know, praise God, the parents send these young people to good school. They, some go to college, get their degree. But I'm telling you, praise God, if you are a teacher, when you are serving God, you're going to be the best teacher in the whole wide world. I'm telling you, <laughs> no, nobody fool you, praise God. Young people who will start to wise up <laughs> if you have no education, no degree, if you a doctor, lawyer, whatever, you're going to be the best doctor and the best lawyer. Praise God. Hallelujah. Yes. So be blessed. Most praise. assuredly. And I hope you will enjoy the rest of the program, praise God. And we want we want to see sure. you soon. Even if you come on to read scripture, even to come on to read the scripture, praise God. So don't feel no way fearful now. The program, this get it ministry is also yours, it's for everybody. So don't scare. I'm saying uh, to okay. my unsafe friends, so don't scare every man on the corner. This program is for everybody. Praise God. Hallelujah. Yes. So be yeah, blessed. And I enjoy growing with the Get It in it Mystery. I enjoy growing with the Get It Mystery. Praise God. Amen. Now, you know, we have Bible class. I guess I see on the line too. We have Bible class every Friday okay. afternoon. And we have our yes. next program, the community <laughs> link up. We want to link up back every family and to let them know. Praise God. That's the way we are to go. Sure. When we move, when we yes. move us, get to our, as a one family, one unit, we are more stronger. Stronger. Hallelujah. So be blessed. Praise God. Be blessed. And you know, I've met you yet, but uh, you know, the, you know, uh, my spirit, you know, my spirit I, click. It's okay. I've always heard a lot of good stuff about you. My mom and your wife has had, had a long history of growing up together. So it's like you're a part of my family as well. Yeah, man. We are family, man. One big family. Praise God. Hallelujah. <laughs> One Definitely. big family. Hallelujah. 
So be blessed, be blessed, be blessed by praise God, Sister Tamar Trailer. Nice to have and you. And you be blessed as well, Mr. Pinnock. And I love your vibes and don't change. And you always make me smile and happy when you're doing your program. I yeah, love man, it. Nothing can change me, man. Nothing can change me. <laughs> I love change. the vibes. Let <laughs> me not change already. Nothing can change me, man. Nothing can change me. Praise <laughs> we've, been through, we've been through Rocky Hill and Road. And sometimes I show me don't bother even bother for even one talk, but who would have known me? We go through the hills and valley and every crib is on corner. Praise God. So that's why I tell a man, say, the devil can't put nothing in my way for trick me. For me coming like one dog. You remember when doing usually, me don't know if you hear your parents will attack. When dog a thief, egg, and you lock, you put one in the ashes and make it hot in the ashes and throw it in the mouth and lock it. never thief a egg again. Anyway, <laughs> see egg. Anyway, see egg, you ain't hide from it. Well, are with me with I sin. I heard about it. Are with me with sin. To whom is sin already do me and mash me up and, and, and miss me up and broke me up. Me know in and nothing with sin. Ah, Satan. Praise God. Hallelujah. Yes, Praise God. God. Praise so be God. blessed as we continue to pray for you, my sister, and for the every young person. Praise Thank God. You. Hallelujah. So Thank enjoy you. the rest of the program. Praise God. Hallelujah. And we see more of you, my sister. Praise God. Thank you so Thank much, you. too, for calling in praise god hallelujah no problem no problem and that was the beautiful daughter praise god of evangelist claudia slowly the evangelism director i would like to see young people for we love them praise god we also want to give a shout out to praise god sister shay joseph that's a daughter also of evangelist arlene sanderson praise god we want to shout out to every young person praise god sister Sher answer over there in jamaica praise god or Dear beloved, the late, praise God, hallelujah, Carrie Butcher, daughter, sister, share answer, each and every young person on this morning. We want to wanna greet on the live, uh, praise God, my beautiful cousin over there in Jamaica, Ivan, Ivan, praise God, Forrest also, we want to greet also, praise God, sister, Ivan Brown. And to many treasures. God, there's a person who slipped me on the live. I don't know if she's still on the live. Praise God. Sister Haya Sint Dona. Praise God. We want to see Thank you for joining. We already see you, but we just want to acknowledge you. We just get the time to acknowledge you that Sister Haya Sint Dona. Are you ready for the word? Praise God. We want to ask. Praise God. Minister Stacy and over there. In Jamaica, please to so log in for us. Somebody begin to spray up the speakers. The heart. Praise God and Sister Everett is saying she sound just like her mom. That's praise God, Sister Tamara Trail. Sister Everett is saying you sound just like your mom. Burning desert. Yeah, man, she sounds so nice. Praise God. We want to thank young people we love young people and we want to thank praise god that they are part of this program because they are the one who we will be passing on the button to praise god and we want to thank god for young people and we want to see them do well so, we want to thank god also for middle aged and elders in the right way. we thank god for men Choose every man on the corner to my good friend terry over there Somewhere up ahead, brother Jolly by Grental. There is clear, cool water. Are we ready? And defeat is one word I don't use. Praise God, and I can see the speaker in the chat room, so I just want to set up her mic and then I just want to introduce her. Praise God, hallelujah. <laughs> Praise God. So Evangelist Dean McLean, my good friend, the marketing manager, praise God, is saying that Sister Haya St. Dona, praise God, is one of, praise God, Evangelist Dean McLean friend, praise God, hallelujah. So you see, it's good to pray that, hallelujah, to acknowledge, praise God, everyone on the live, praise God, for it slipped me. So I roll back the camera, praise God, and I come up back with her name, praise God. So Sister Haya St. Dona, 
we want to thank God. Praise God for you. Praise God. And the marketing manager, my good friend, a stalwart of this ministry, Vanless Jean McLean, is saying, Praise God. That's her friend. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God, are we ready? Praise God, we are come to the end of the part. No, praise God, where the word is important. We want to thank God for the opening prayer. Praise God, coming all the way out of Jamaica from our deacon, deacon Harry and praise God for the scripture reading. Vanis Fedarbre. The special songs, Brother Vincent Gifford out of Jamaica, and also for praise God, Sister Tamara Trail, a young person, praise God, the daughter of Evangelist Claudia, slowly for coming on to say something, praise God. So, at this time, somebody, the word, are we ready for the word? Let me see, everyone, are we ready for the word? And so it's a wonderful privilege of mine and from all of us here from the Getty ministry. Praise God. She's no stranger to us. She have already blessed us on already in this ministry. Praise God. Hallelujah. So it's a privilege to us once more to introduce to the Getty ministry family and to everyone. Praise God. Minister Stacy Colgan. Praise God. A graduate of Bethel Bible College. Extension of Sablamore. She is married and have two beautiful children. Once was a member of the Sheffield New Testament Church of God. Praise God over there in Jamaica where I praise God was once also and my wife. Praise God. Hallelujah. She has now moved on to be at the Manly Meadows New Testament Church of God in Kingston. Praise God. Where the pastor is also Pastor Clive Abrahams. What a wonderful blessing. So Pastor Clive Abraham, our pastor also, praise God. That was one such Sheffield. No move, praise God, to Kingston. We are, praise God. Minister Stacy is now, praise God, hallelujah, over there. So what a blessing. So at this time, it's a privilege as of, of ours, praise God, to introduce her now to the podium. Praise God. Minister Stacy and my good friend. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. How are you, beautiful? Not doing bad, sir. Can Praise see God. me very well. Yeah, man. Everything is up and running. Praise God. All right. Hallelujah. Good, good. And uh, Rick, and I'm already introduced you. Praise God to the platform and to God's wonderful people and to the getting. Amen. Praise God. So the floor is now yours, woman of God. Praise God. Thank you very much, sir. Good morning to each and everyone. Last time I was here, I was actually attending the I was actually attending the Eastwood Park in New Testament Church of God. But now my pastor from Sheffield <clears throat> was transferred to Manly Meadows. And you know, I'm going to follow him. No, I was laughing. At the way how Brother Pinock pronounced the name is actually Cahoon. All right, so it's Stacy and Cahoon. Now, forgive me, my voice is not so up and about because the flu is getting on me, but the word of God must go on. It's a must. The scripture reading taken from Isaiah 10, sorry, Isaiah 1, reading from verse 1 to 10. Hear the word of the Lord, ye rulers of Sodom. Give ears unto the law of our God, ye people of Gomorrah. To what purpose is the multitude of your sacrifice unto me? 
said the Lord. I am full of burnt offering, of rums and of fat, and feed beasts, and I delight, delight not in the blood of bullocks, or of lambs, or of he goats. When he come to appear before me, who had required this at your hand? To tread my court. Bringing no more, bring no more vain obligation incense. It's an abomination unto me, the new moons and sabbaths, the calling of assemblies. I can I cannot away with. It is iniquity, even the soul of meeting, your your new moon and your appointed feast, my soul hated. They are a trouble unto me. I am very weary to bear them. And when he spread forth your hands, I will I will hide my eyes from you. Yea, when he make many prayers, I will not hear, and your hands are full of blood. Wash you, make you clean, put away the evil of your doings from being mine eyes. Cease to do evil. Lean to do well, learn to do well, seek judgment, relieve the oppressed, judge the fatherless, plea for the widow. Come now and let us reason together, said the Lord. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though, though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. He, if he be willing and obedient, he shall eat and the of sorry. If he be of willing and obedient, he shall eat the good of the land. And we stop at verse twenty. But if he refuse and rebel, he shall be devoured with the sword, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken it. You're ending a portion of God's holy word. I just bow our heads. Eternal Father and our God will come before your presence this morning. Not because we deserve your blessing, not because we deserve to be, oh God, to be awakened, not because we deserve, oh God, to sit at your table. Mighty God, because you are love and because you gave us a second chance. Mighty God, we want to take this opportunity to make it right, to look into her our life and see the things that are not pleasing unto you. And so, Almighty God, as your word go forth, I pray that it will not be my word, but your word, Almighty God. Let my mouthpiece be what you use, Almighty God. Hide me, Almighty God. Hide me so that no one will recognize who I am, but recognize the words that are coming, Almighty God, from the word, from my mouth to your people. And so that they will have a heart that can receive your word transform their heart almighty god and i pray almighty god while the sea sowed that the enemy will not steal it away from them because it's his duty to be around now to know almighty god what persons are wondering if they should or they should not or the changes that they have to make to stand for you almighty god i pray that it will be well planted almighty god and we look to you almighty god for everything in our life and as i say thanks almighty god Take full control. Take the, the, the lead, Almighty God, and do your work in your name. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. My topic for this morning, will you stand after you understand the requirements of God? As I read the scripture earlier, Isaiah is one of the most well-known prophets in the bible for his prediction of the coming of the messiah who would redeem his people from their sin reading the beginning of isaiah it is so terrifying of the lifestyle of the people god was tired of their sinful lifestyle sin is indeed a lifestyle that we practice we wake up with it, we go to bed with it, so it's a lifestyle. It becomes a part of us if we entertain it. All of their sins were shown 
to Isaiah. A people laden with iniquity, meaning a word for sin, that means twistedness. Each new generation is an offspring of evil doers, rebels, who deny God's authorities. Like their parents, they deal corruptly, meaning that their relationship are defined by their, their dishonesty to favor themselves over others. They had a provoking spirit, like many of us today, we provoke the Holy Spirit. They had a provoking spirit that went as far as provoke the Holy Spirit unto anger. They chose to abandon the knowledge of God and that they had led themselves backward. They now reject what God said. It is no more of importance for them what God said. And because of that, it was so easy for them to fall in the trap of the enemy. These people, they know that God loved them. And for some reason, they allowed the enemy to trick them. And so it allowed them to go way back from what they were taught. The word of God said, the whole head is sick and the whole heart faint. The whole head is sick from top to bottom sick. A sick generation is the same thing that we're experiencing now. We are a set of sick generation. We, we, we adapt to anything. We take on anything. Uh, many of us take on anything. Anything that the enemy shows us look beautiful that we take on to that. We gravitate to sin. And Jesus is saying, Jesus is saying, God is saying to them, this is not, his, this is not what I requires of you. The things that you're doing, evil doers, your hand shed blood, ah, you, you, you fuss against each other. No, no one wants to do what is right again. They find it so hard to do the right thing. They were described as Sodom and Gomorrah. We all know the story with Sodom and Gomorrah, the lifestyle that they adopted. They went to bed with it. They get up with it. They sleep with it. They talk sin. They walk sin. They crawl sin. Everything was about sin for them. And it was just too much in the sight of Almighty God. We as Christians today, we are doing some things that God is not pleased with. We are doing some things that God, we, we might not be doing some of the things that they were doing, but all sin is sin. Remember that. We don't have big sin, little sin. All sin is sin. If you realize that they were perfect, they don't miss, you don't miss a, they don't miss a point in offering sacrifice and rums and all that they would offer unto God. They don't miss a point right there. They don't miss it. Everything was on point while offering their their sacrifice but what they god didn't have to stretch far to receive sacrifice there was just so many that they had offer but what they forgot is that who tell them that god would accept those sacrifice with their sinful behavior who gave them the permission to enter into his court praise god <coughs> praise god it is not that God did not delight in sacrifice. Because sometimes while reading, because you read this and you know persons hear about sacrifice and back then you would offer sacrifice. It's not that God didn't delight in sacrifice. It's not that. The problem is a whole sick head of people went and offered sacrifice unto him. A whole head of sick head people offering sacrifice unto Almighty God. Praise God. When you look at James 4, verse 7, the word of God says, Submit yourself, therefore, to God. Resist evil, and he will flee from you. Now, if you don't resist evil, if you don't resist evil, there is no way evil will flee from you if you entertain evil 
you cannot, the devil is well comfortable because you welcome him. You give him space to be in your presence. If you allow the devil to walk over you and do whatever he wants, you no longer have any part with Almighty God because the devil sits between. Verse 8 says, draw nigh to God and he will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hand, he sinners, and purify your heart, he double-minded. No, we can do everything that we want with our lips. But if the heart is not right, we're in big trouble with Almighty God. It is coming down to end time now. And we don't need we, we, we don't need these pretty sermon that speak about blessing, blessing, blessing. We need sermon that can direct us. We use the compass to, to direct you into the path of Almighty God. We have to cleanse our heart and cleanse and purify our hands and everything that we are to do. Number 10 says, humble yourself in the sight of Almighty God and he shall lift you up. Humble yourself. When you humble yourself in the sight of Almighty God, people of God, you're able to hear what God says because he's now leading you. He's now leading you. He's now the one directing your path. You can hear what he's saying. You can listen to him. But if the enemy is the one that you are living for and offering sacrifice unto my Almighty God, then you have a problem. Now to my unsafe people, we are sometimes love to say that a brother and a sister at a church not living the way of God. We love to say that. And because of that, we're not, we don't go up there. We don't go at a church there. And we, not, we find all excuses to enter into the presence of Almighty God. But we ought to remember that we are responsible for our own sins. We cannot go before God and say this because of somebody that you are not living for God. Be a Moses. Be a Joshua. Stand out and be different. Look at it. We hear every day. We hear the word of God. The word says God created the heaven and the earth. But in a scripture it says that Satan is out upon a boat on the same earth seeking who he can devour. It is God who built this earth. It is God who created this earth. But yet Satan is doing his thing. Mean, if you go into the house of God, you will also find persons who are working for the devil. So you cannot use that as an excuse not to serve God. Praise God. <coughs> Forgive me um, of my coughing. The word of God says in Hebrew, Today, if you hear his voice, do not harden your heart as he did. Do not harden your heart. Today, this moment, unsaved, if you hear the word of God, harden not your heart as he did in rebellion. Jesus Christ, remember people, Jesus Christ, God created the heaven and the earth. And he's pleading on our, he's asking us, do not stiffen our necks and find excuse, lame excuse to accept Jesus Christ. Now we as believers, we enter into the house of God, God holy house, with some disturbing spirit. People of God, we enter. Enter into the house of God. My team, will you stand after you understand the requirements of Almighty God? We enter into the house of God with some disturbing spirit. We said that they are gifts unto God. We cry out loud. We cry out loud and know that the things that we are doing is not of God.
but we shed long tears and we 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 have our noise and we're so loud and disruptive and we know that our lifestyle is not pleasing unto God. We 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 speak in tongues and 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 we 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 just want to hear somebody say something and then we start speaking into tongues and and we know that it is vain. We know that we're not right with God, but because we already know how to speak in tongues, we practice it. And every time we enter into the house of God, we come and we behave like it's a sacrifice unto Almighty God. And we know that our lifestyle is not pleasing unto God. Who told you that Almighty God receive it? Who told you that Almighty God receive your tears? Who told you that when you do, when you do, and when you take part in church and your, your, your heart is not in tune with Almighty God, who told you that he receive it? God said he will close his ears at your prayer. You pray and your heart is not right. You pray and your lifestyle is not right. Who told you that Almighty God receive your prayer? We come into the house of God and we walk in the house of God with pride and we sit in the house of God and we make sure when we enter the gate, when we enter the church gate and we enter the door, we stand there and we look at the looking for the person who we decide that we're not sitting beside because that person offend us. So we're looking for a different seat to sit. We have up our brothers and sisters and they're in the house of God and we come and we jump and we lift our hands and we say that God is accepting this, what we brought in a sacrifice unto almighty God. But who told you that God received what you bring into the house of God. Who told you that he accept your worship? Who told you that almighty God is hearing your voice? Who told you? We, 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 some of us get the gifts of emotions. We, we, we disturb church service with our behavior. We disturb church service with our behavior and it is not right in the sight of almighty god it is not right in the sight of almighty god some of us use our hands to do some things some things uh back then back then they would, would shed blood with their hands but we nowadays we we offer some person some things with our hands and 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 it's not from a a, a, a good heart it's not a heart from a heart of charity it's not a heart it's not a heart that God is saying, yes, my child, this is coming from a pure and a clean heart. We offer people things that we don't want, that we don't need. We give them what we don't want. And then we come and lift up those dirty hands in the presence of Almighty God. Who told you that God received what you are offering him when you enter into his courts with thanksgiving and with praise? Who told you that Almighty God accepted it? Who told you? Did you stop to look into your life? These people were going, going about doing their own things. It, it was about you, they, and and, and they, it was about me, myself, and I, and and and, and they would they, they would do all the bad things that the evil doers, and and we know the things that God says that we're not supposed to do, and they know you know because the fact that it says that they went backwards. Is not the fact that they didn't know. They know about Almighty God. But what? Sin is more appealing to them. Sin is more appealing to some of us. Though we may put on our long dresses and persons look on us as we are saved, that one look like a Christian because the looks is what is running the things now. It's not the heart of man anymore. Though we cannot see what is inside but your soul bring forth good fruits and you cannot hide your true self from almighty god and you cannot hide your true self either from some people for too long you can hide from someone who just see you for a few hours but the fact that you cannot trick god 
the fact that you cannot the fact that you cannot play with god like god don't know who you are you're in danger you are in danger you are in danger who told you that you can enter into the court of almighty god with your lifestyle that you're living and call yourself children of god who told you that almighty god accept it who told you that he accept it praise god it is easy for us to go in the house of god and behave like we are saved sanctified and holy it is easy for us to pretend in the sight of man but let me tell you something my brothers and sisters jesus did not receive did not receive the sacrifice that the whole sicked people offer unto him the whole head is sick in our generation now some of these pastors from the head to the foot to the pew sick from the head to the pew sick them the the the, the, the sound the, the, the word of god speak the word of god speak about it and we and, and, and it, it says from the sole of the feet a word of God says from the sole of the feet even unto the head there is no soundness we're acting like mad people on the road there is no soundness whatever you're do, doing whatever you're saying that is not pleasing unto God there's no soundness there's, there's nothing there for almighty God pride we, 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 we hold on to pride and, and we hold on to the things that we think that we are better than someone. And, and God is not receiving our sacrifice that we enter into the house of God with. He's not receiving it. And we are in deep trouble. We are in deep trouble. And, and sometimes from the other day I was saying to myself that, it doesn't matter. And this is where we get in trouble and that we become a part of sick-headed people. But I tell myself that when persons are even praying, that I will not miss a word that what they're saying. Because sometimes because these people have titles that we don't listen to what they're praying about. Look here, Satan is afraid of using nobody. Satan is not afraid of using people. Pastors, deacons, leaders, it no matter who you be, if you leave yourself careless, the devil will use you. And so I tell myself when persons are praying, I am listening to what they're saying because I, Stacy, won't be saying amen to something that is contrary to the word of God. I, Stacy, a lot of pastors saying some things from their mouth that has nothing to do with almighty god and so they allow the whole body to be sick the whole body to be sick in the presence of almighty god in the presence of almighty god we're a set of sick people in the presence of god these pastors are leading us down the wrong road and because we don't read the word of god because we don't feed our spirit because we don't have a bond, a relationship with Almighty God, we find ourselves going down, going backwards with the sick headed people. The whole, the whole house, the whole saints of God is sick. It is so sick. And we don't want any change because there are some things that we hold on to. I remember. It came to me when they was preparing a sermon. And some of the things that we as Christians do, and we don't look into it. Now, the things that we, we the married people, you would say that adultery, fornication is not your thing because you are married. So that is easy to be out of your way. The things that we hold on to, we cremate, we, we, we bomb them. We, we hold on to them. We bomb pride. 
we bomb it because what? We have to keep it for a very long time. But we cremate the things that, tra, me married. So adultery and fornication can come to me. Easy to get rid of that. But the line, we hug it up. We hug up, crucifying our brothers and sisters. We, we, we bomb those. We, we don't want to get rid of it, so we bombed it. And the things the, the things that we, we, we're not going to steal because we, we already know that that is not within us. But we tell lies and we hold on to pride and we hold on to biting and, 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 and the things that we will hold on to that Almighty God is not receiving our gifts when we enter into the house of God. Are you saying that Almighty God will receive it? Are you saying that my father hold on to darkness? Are you saying that he's in darkness? That is a lie from the pit of hell. We do things and we put down our Bibles and we said, let me give you a piece of me. And then we say, God will understand. What is it that God will understand? Sin? Are you saying that Almighty God will understand sin? Are you saying, what, 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 who do you think God is? Do you understand who God is? Why would people say that God will understand? You're going to use certain words from your mouth and God will understand. You're going to tell them a piece of your mind and God will understand. The word of God say, be he holy for I am holy. I am a holy God. I am a holy holy god so when people will say that god will understand i'm not sure which god they're talking about i'm not sure if it's the devil their god they're talking about but i know the god that wakes me up this morning that's not the one they're talking about because god is a holy god when jesus was walking on earth and all the things that happened to him he didn't kill he didn't murder he didn't do any of these things that was sent in the Bible that they were doing in the presence of Almighty God. That he was tired of their sinful lifestyle. Tired of their sinful behavior. We find ourselves in trouble with Almighty God. When we stepped into the house of God, we, we, we go because somebody asks us to do something. We murmur because somebody asks us to do something and we never feel like God today. And we think that God receive it because we speak so well and we put our words together so well and we present it so well. We are yet saying, yes, this was a word from almighty God. When you murmured before you enter into his presence, the heart, something is wrong within. And so if you don't work on what is happening on the inside, you cannot fool Almighty God with your outward appearance. You cannot fool him if you go into the house of God with your big heart that cover your face. You cannot fool him with your long sleeve clothes. You cannot fool Almighty God. We are to set our life in order. Set your house in order. Be separate and apart from the sick head people that the word of God is speaking about. Praise God. Praise God. God is good. God is indeed good. When you look, when you look, the word of God says, we worship him with our lips, but our hearts is far from what he requires from us. We do the lip thing because we know how to, but our lifestyle is far from almighty God. Our heart is far from Almighty God. When you are in a situation where there is no one around, what will you do? When you are in a situation that no one is seeing you, what will you do? Will you allow your light to shine? Or will you go and do the wrong and say that God will understand and dress up yourself and enter into the house of God 
and off up your hand where you just use a thief and offer the hands up to almighty god that you just use to give somebody something that you don't want you use your feet to run with news you use your hands to dial somebody's number to make to give a bad report about your brothers and sister and you lift them up and say i surrender all to jesus holy 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 god almighty and we sing some songs and we're not we, 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 we're not even supposed to because our life is not on the path of almighty god do we really understand the requirements of almighty god do we understand what God is expecting of us. Do we understand what God needs from, us, needs from us for us to follow the word of Almighty God? Do we really understand? It says, neither fulfillness nor foolish talk, no jesting, watch not convenient, but rather give thanks. Sometimes we don't realize that the common idol jesting is sin. Brothers and sisters, some of us may not be killing people with our hands, but the little things that we do with idol jesting is not of God. It is in his word. He does not entertain idol jesting. He requires us not to get involved in idol jesting. And trust me, that's a hard one for many of us. And you know it too. We find it as a joke to run some little jokes, do some little idle jesting. And it's to us. Oh, I don't know. Not a joke may I make. I can correct it after I'm done. But what is it that God requires of us? Will we do what we want to do? Or will we do what God wants us to do? Sicked people, come make a reason together. Do your sins. Though your sins are like scarlet, make a reason together. Father don't know said we, we had sick. God don't know said they, 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 they had sick. The entire head, from, from, from our feet and to our head, sick. And he know that. The fact that he know and is willing to give us a chance to make a correction, it's a good thing. But are we willing to do the work of God? Are we willing to stand? Are we willing to stand and to do the work of God? We cannot live for tomorrow because tomorrow is seen to no man. It is promised to no man. So one day at a time, dropping off these little things that Almighty God does not want us to do. It's a start. And God see our heart and know that we're making changes and we're making progress to go forward and not backward he's there to help us cry unto him praise god praise god god is so amazing god is so for this he know that no war mongers nor unclean persons nor covetous man who is an idolater had many inheritance in the kingdom of christ after of god let no man deceive you with vain words. Let no man deceive you and I with vain words. For because of these things, commit the wrath of God. Because of these things, commit the wrath of God upon people. Children of disobedient. They went, the Israelites, they go backward. They, 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 they go backward in everything. They complain. They, 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 they are so rebellious. They are, they, are, they are rebels in their behavior. And instead of going forward, they are, they are going backwards. And we find ourselves in that position. We come today in the house of God and we hear the word. And, and, and it's only for a moment. We hear the word. Okay, Father. I'm going to do my, my, my changes. I'm going to see how best I can change. And then we lie down and sleep and wake up and we forget all about the word of Almighty God. We forget about the word and the requirement and we just are living. Today, few minutes, we do good. 
and the next we do bad god say be he holy he didn't say sometimes he didn't say one time you have to be holy throughout your lifestyle you have to be be not he therefore partakers of them for he were in darkness you and i were in darkness at that time we do anything because we were entertaining sin we do anything that, that that the enemy would use us to do but know that god take us out of darkness when we see darkness we're supposed to run don't walk into it don't entertain it flee we we we, we, we have to we, we we have to know what god requires of us so so when we when we don't entertain the devil he must be flee when we resist him he would have to flee but if the devil see any any little loophole you know how much you know because he already know our weaknesses because so we show it so many times that he already know our weaknesses and know how to to pick at us pick at us and get us where he wants it do not entertain darkness do not entertain the works of the devil do not god is the light walk in the light of almighty god is that so hard god requires of us to walk in the light can you imagine going in your house and going out of your house you were the first person to leave outside, to go on the outside. And the children came after you. And you don't know what they had put in the way while coming out. And you enter that house in darkness. And you're not able to see what is in front of you because in your head, you didn't see anything on your way out. It was clear. Now you stumble in that darkness. You hurt yourself. You probably break a arm, uh, get bruised, sleep, wring your foot. The amount of danger that can happen to you when you walk towards darkness. Stay in the light where you can see. Stay in the light that God put you in. He is the light. And none of us want our eyesight. We beg God every day, Father, not take my side from me. I me two foot them. I said when I am driving, the way how I have it in my heart, in my head, that if anything should happen, me I hurry up and jump my foot them by my seat. I don't want to lose my foot. That's how I think about it. I don't want to lose my foot. I don't want to lose my sight. I don't want to be stumbling in darkness. I don't want anybody to push me into darkness. I want to be in control of my decision which is accepting christ and living for him we are to live holy god requires holiness sin and holiness does not work it doesn't go together we cannot live in darkness and expect almighty god to accept our sacrifice when we walk into the house of god leave your sacrifice at the altar go fix up yourself man Go make it right with the brother over there that we think sometimes you know sometimes a little misunderstanding you might think that somebody offend you and the person in their mind don't even know that they offended you you probably um interpret something wrong that they don't even look at it the way you do but just going to them and explain the situation they can explain themselves that they didn't mean it that way. But the enemy will put things in our mind. For us to have a bad taste. About somebody. That we say we love. How can you say you love God. And you did not see him. But the persons who sit beside you. You cannot love them. Is that of God. You could give all you want to give. But if you don't have charity. If you don't have charity people of God. You are in trouble with Almighty God because He's not accepting what you bring to Him. Who told you that without charity, Almighty God will accept your sacrifice? 
who told you that when you love only those who can give you that God accept your sacrifice from some of us only give to people who we can receive things for we don't look on the poor we no longer have any compassion for the poor and when Jesus walked on the earth every look he looked it was about compassion what about those instruction what about those guidelines that almighty God that Jesus Christ left for us to follow what about them are we not able are we are we not able to follow the word of God says with man all things are impossible but with me everything is possible go to God look in yourself see where you're wrong clean up your ways stop doing things with your hands that is not of God stop stop bombing the things that is not of God stop bomb lying spirit rebuke lying spirit rebuke it rebuke the spirit of lie rebuke the spirit of fornication rebuke the spirit of, of adultery rebuke the evil spirit rebuke them do not bomb them no preserve them because it is not of god and god will not accept your sacrifice who give permission with your unclean self to enter daily and to say that you are a child of god who told you that he will listen to your prayer the word of god said will lock up his ears he will close it and to what you're saying because you don't have no part with him no let him part go clean up yourself make correction for the fruit of the spirit is in all goodness and righteousness and truth provoking that is acceptable unto the lord and have no fellowship with unfruitful works of darkness but rather reprove but rather reprove them for it is a shame even to speak of those things and done of them in secret the things we do in secret people of god the things we do in secret we're not troubling no? we're in a trouble the things we do in secret i always said to my husband let me ask you something you see me i live nowhere me always ask him you see me i live nowhere but would i make your question my journey because you see the people who live with you them see your behavior every day me say tell me what they go on with my life answer me how, how you see me i live because more and know me know god know already you know but i don't want because of me <laughs> not come to god me don't want because of my lifestyle i wonder which god may i serve or which god may i pray to or which god we we, we we do some things we accept some things from our children because we said we love them and almighty god the word say no spoil the, no no spoil the child the child no no spear no rod and spoil no child that mean we have to correct them but some of us because we love we we we, we entertain certain things uh, uh some things that i see christian people's doing coming on the house of god we know us ring mighty god my spirit turn one million earring ears earring in them ears and tongue bore and they say them a christian be he separated from among them come out from among them and we said we're a children of god when nobody can identify who we are what lifestyle are you what, what, what are you showing them are your lights shining are your light shining in front of man for them to serve god these days these days people watch how you live these days your lifestyle will draw people to, to, to christ if you look like the worldly and you're in a trouble and we love to talk about it's not on the outside it is on the inside but if the holy spirit speaking and your conscience not receiving the queen of england i don't remember ever seeing her exposing her body parts i don't know her journey with god but she could not do anything she want but she dressed modest why we people of god we see a person out there dressed certain ways 
and its story spirit are you comfortable with it you can't comfortable with sin you can't accept sin and these are the things that getting us into trouble you cannot be comfortable because you love your children in sin no correct them we have to correct them if we don't correct them we are in trouble if we live certain lifestyle and they cannot listen to our words or go and, and and down the line i remember i remember growing up as a child mommy used to pray every five o'clock we have to get up and have devotion and i don't want to read the bible and I don't want to pray. I so say, hurry up. And I sing this song over and over. A little more oil in my life. That was my song. That only Because I was interested. I wasn't interested. She wake me up out of my bed five o'clock when it's dark and I wanted to sleep. And I sing that song. And look at that song. I look at that song today. And where I am today. I am grateful. Though I didn't understand what i was singing i am grateful for the oil that i was singing about teach the children right grow them into the fear of almighty god the thing that are happening that is around us that we are accepting and then we walk into the house of god and we feel proud i am living for god and god is accepting whatever i bring to him who told you that he's accepting what you bring to him who told you but all things that are reproved are made manifest by the light. For whatsoever I do it, make what do it make ma, ma, uh, manifest unto light. Therefore, wherefore he said, Awake he that sleepeth and rise from the dead, and Christ shall give thee light. Stay in the light, a God requirement. Stay in a light. If you stay in a light, darkness, kia. Take up no residence in your life. Stay in the light. Stay in the light. Wherefore he said, See then that he walk circumspectly, not as fool, not as sick headed people, but as wise. Praise God. Redeem the time be because the days are evil. And we are seeing that around us. The things that are happening around us. Many of us may find problems with who is our government and all these things. But if you realize that the, though these things are happening that we are not pleased with. This is something that should draw us closer to God. Because we are forced. Don't you realize that these things are forcing you to go closer to God. Why not just rejoice in it? Because we have to depend on Almighty God wholeheartedly in these times. In these times of evil, though we may not be pleased with what this party is saying and doing, it is giving us the opportunity to draw closer to our Father. Be wise, be vigilant, and go closer. Stay in line. Stay in line and stay in the light of God. He requires for us to stay in the light praise god wherefore he be not unwise but understanding what he will of the lord is the will of the lord is be not drunk with wine we are in in excess but filled with the spirit the spirit of god speak to you do you have a life conscience within you is it that your conscience is sleeping is it that your conscience have dropsy? That your conscience is not alive in you? To, to listen to the direction. Have you, have you ever heard the voice of God so clearly? The Spirit talking to you so clearly. Telling you what to do. And, 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 and you ignore it. You, you, you put it down. You put it down right there. You just put it to sit. Because what? This is not what I want at, at the moment. Is it about what you want? Or is about what God requires of us? Is it about what is going to make us comfortable at the moment? Or what God requires of us? Are you understanding what God requires of us? Are you understanding what God wants from us? Do you understand 
that God said you must come out from among them. Do you understand that he says to flee? He resists Satan and him flee from you. Do you understand that he's saying do not entertain? He told us what to feed our spirit on. Good things. Sometimes our mind gone some way. Sometimes I have to shut down some things in my head. And I'm not speaking in my in, in, in word. Because yet I now hear it. Me said, devil, mean why you come now? But let me tell you something. You can't get me to do it. We have to talk to him. I was watching this Christian movie. And the gentleman gotten find her glasses. He was walking with this blind girl. They were always talking about God. Praying and reading the Bible. And they found this glasses. The gentleman take it up. But when he went home and put it on. He realized that there was something strange about these glasses. It was pulling him. And he take it off and he, he put the, the, the light on it and look at it and realize what the fine print was saying on the inside. And he realized he was telling his friends about the glasses and what he could see. And he said, the devil, speak to him. The devil realized that he was different. People of God be different. There's nothing wrong with being different. Come out of the body of sick head people. Be different. Be different. Moses came from Egypt. When he was going into the presence of Almighty God, he had to take off Egypt shoes. Egypt shoes could not go in the presence of Almighty God. Be different people. Be a Joshua. Be a Moses. Be different. There are so many characters, persons in the Bible who live for God. Be one of them. Be different. Be the change you want to see in Christendom. Take the path. The young man was telling them about the glasses. And when he gave them the glasses to try, they saw nothing. They were laughing at him as if he was sick. And he went home sorrowful. And he said, I realize that something is special about me. And he realized that the enemy would show him things. And the way how he got to realize that, the way how he got his brothers to believe him, he was shown something that the young man did in private and tell him that I know about what you did. And he was astonished as to who told you. You know what the gentleman said? Demons told me. They were showing him. His sister was going to this bar to, to, to climb on a pool to dance. And the devil showed him that this is what is going to happen to your sister. And the young man rushed there. The devil do everything to stop him. But he rushed there. And when he looked up, she was already on the pool. And he cried out and he tried to make his way to him. And because of the life that he was living, come on, man. When you can't run Satan, if your life no stay good. When you can't run, when you think Satan easy. When you think Satan is a is a walkover so many of us think that the devil is just a walkover satan is not a walkover if you don't have god if your light now shine if you are walking at darkness yet and laugh after you when the young man get on the pool the enemy was shaking the enemy knock out the gentleman who was holding the rope him knock out him the rope let loose the enemy realized that he couldn't shake the young lady. He was shaking it. She wasn't falling. And he do everything to get her. He's shaking the board for her to fall. And the young man saw it. And he was there because he had to bend on his knee. And he stand up and he said, God, I can't do this by myself. He said, God, I cannot do this by myself. And the Holy Spirit came in him. And he was able to back off the, the amount of demons that was as around. The amount of spirit that was around the young lady. The amount of spirit that was causing, wanted her to fall. And when he saw them and saw the amount, he said, God, I cannot do this of self. Help me. And that's where he got his strength to fight them off and to destroy the enemy over his sister's life. If our life is not intact with Almighty God, the devil will have us this way. We are big, so we know about yo, yo. We know about it. That is how the enemy will have us confuse us. This is how the enemy will have us. If we walk into his trap, 
if we don't seal ourselves with the blood of Jesus every day, not just some days when we are in troubles, sometimes we ignore, we ignore God because we say he failed us. Did he fail you or you failed yourself? Did you wait? Did you wait? Did you wait on Almighty God? Did you did you follow his instruction? Did you follow his requirements? Did you stand in God's requirements? Did you are you doing the will of Almighty God? Are you standing in the requirements of God? Are you following it? Are you following it? the word of God? Are you are here today and tomorrow you're in darkness and you're on and off and, and you're blaming yourself. You're blaming the surrounding that you are in. You blame everything and you, have, you just blame, blame, blame. You blame pastor, you blame deacon, you blame this, you blame that. What about you? What are the changes that you're bringing? What are the changes that you're bringing? I remember I was watching this. I was reading this thing about a madman. He got something and he, many years after, he wasn't mad, probably homeless. But then he went to a church where somebody had blessed him. And that person blessed him enough that he was able to help himself. To bring, lift. Sometimes we need to lift up people, man. Lift up that person. And he, the young man walked into the church and saw the pastor and said, do you remember me? And he was like, what is that question about? I don't even know you. And he was telling him that he was the one who blessed him. And so he was the one who helped him to come out of the life that he's in. And some of us will give people what we know, cannot do a thing for them. Because we want to feel like we're in the limelight. We give person things that we know would help them, but we didn't give them with a willing heart. It vanished because it wasn't come from a loving heart. The hands that we put up to praise God, we have to examine them. Examine these hands that we use to praise God with. Examine our lips that we use to praise God with. Examine our hearts that we use to praise God with. Is he accepting our sacrifice? Is he accepting us walking into his courts? He said, come make us reason. Reason with God. Reason with Almighty God. Reason with Almighty God. Reason with God. Because if we don't reason with him, we're going to find ourselves in trouble. And reasoning is one. What will you accept? Will you accept? The word said, if he be willing and obey, he never said, may I go force you. He did not say he's going to force any of us to walk in any light. Because if your heart and your mind is not there, you're not going to, you're not going to, continue the journey you're not going to want to get up when you fall out you're not going to want to get up when you fall out you have to purpose it in your life in your heart that you are willing and you choose to be obedient word of god says obedient is better than sacrifice we are to be obedient to the work of god we have to be obedient god requires of us to be obedient, not just today, tomorrow, yesterday, but forever, we have to be obedient. If we want God to open his ears to hear you, if you want to see his face, we have to be obedient to him. One master, not two, not three. One master is either you're serving God or you're not serving God. Don't play with your life. Don't be among the sick-headed persons that the Bible speak about. He wants to reason with you. Though you're not in a good state. Though you are not in a state that you should be in his presence. But he's willing to lend mercy and grace unto you. Though you, your sins are like scarlet, he is asking, come make a reason, man. Let me give you the things that I want you to stand on and show you what to get rid of. And so that I can offer, I can accept your sacrifice. I can accept it. 
because you're following my words and you're walking in the light of Almighty God. People of God, it is end time. There are so many things going around. Do not get entangled in the yoke of bondage. We have one life, one soul, one spirit. Take care of it. Take care of it. Don't be deceived. Whatever seed you sow, please may I beg you, sow seed that will take root. Don't sow it on stony ground for the enemy come and snatch it. So you hear the word and take it from you. Don't make the devil take no word from you. Make changes. You cannot keep yourself. Some of us, some of us are saying that we're not killing, we're not stealing, we're not doing nothing wrong. But remember, Nicodemus know the word that the, 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 the you Nicodemus know what Isaiah say. He know the word, but he wasn't serving the Almighty God, and he wanted to know what to do. And Father, we know that the Lord said you have to be born again. Though you're not killing physically, though you're not stealing, and though you're not doing many other things that you are saying that what Christian do me not do. Don't use that as an excuse not to accept Jesus. Don't use that as an excuse to, rip, to, to receive water baptism. Don't use foolish things to reject God. You can sing all you want. You can live all you want, but you have to accept Almighty God. Cinnamon, accept God. I want to share something with you guys. From November, from December, I was to do a surgery. I want to show you how God is good. I, I don't pray. I don't pray, God bless me with this, God bless me with that. I don't pray those kinds of prayer. I, I, I never have and I don't intend to do because the word of God says, seek ye first the kingdom of God. And I am an Old Testament, I am an Old Testament kind of person. The, 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 the scripture that draw me, the, the sermon that draw me closer to God as a child of God. I was overseas and I was there watching um, the... I was watching the movie uh, about Axe and Ananias and Sapphire. And when I realized that, I was laying down and I was watching the movie. And when I realized that, watch out, the man just dead, so. And the lady just dead, so. And me jump up out of the chair. I said, Jesus, God, God can't play with you. You can't run with God. And the fear, the fear came over me to fear God and to play with God. And that, and that just shaped me and how I end up in ministry. At that, that moment, I was texting pastor and I was asking him a lot of questions because I was I was so far from God, I didn't know much. And I was asking him a lot of questions. And I remember one morning, I, I woke up, Rev sent me Bethel Bible study um, program, something. And I said, me, why me, sir? And, and he said, go go and i was and i was there wondering if i should go anyways i go it was just it was a rough one but i can tell you that while going the enemy strike at me so hard the enemy and when i said strike i don't mean some little things i mean that before i got married my husband meeting accident broke both arms i went through some things but that draw me closer to god people have got steer with god when i'm supposed to do my surgery last year december I catch, I catch the flu like now. And I'm saying, God, I was having some hiccups with the insurance company. They find all that kind of excuse to say that I have another insurance policy. And I'm saying, no, I don't have the, the doctor send the information to them saying that, no, I don't have. They, they ignore me. They, 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 it couldn't have done because there again, I have the call. The entire December, I am sick with flu. And I don't normally get sick. January start, the, the doctor put it for the night of January. The insurance company is still having problems. I have to be going there back and forth, talking to this person, talking to, to get answers. I went out fasting three times about it. I said, God, if it is your will to do this surgery. I went to my bed and I got this dream. And I got the dream. It says that I was in church. And when I got up, it was just pure blood splashing out. And when I look, a doctor was standing before me at the altar. And he said, go and wash yourself. And when I go in the bathroom, it wasn't enough water. So I ended up under a bridge. 
I'm going to end up on the bridge and I hold on to a steel. I realize that everything around me, gone, everything left me. I have nothing but the steel that I hold on. But when I ended up back on shore, I said to them, when the see me almost drowned, me not do it. And I couldn't understand the dream because I saw the doctor. And then I was in the river and I was confused and I said, God, how can you give me dreams about people? That is so straightforward. But with me, I cannot understand my own dream. And I went on fasting again. And I went I went on fasting. And I was trying to call the doctor for two weeks straight. And I couldn't get him because he had some mission with some person from overseas doing auditing. So he didn't answer anybody for two weeks straight. And it was almost time for this the surgery that he scheduled for the 23rd of January. And while I was there, I had a um, speeding ticket, so I ended up in St. Elizabeth to get a court date. And I went there and I said to the young lady, I'm going to do a surgery Monday, and I'm not able to come to court soon. And she said, when do you want? By the time I'm talking to her, the doctor called me. I ended my fasting the day before, which is a Thursday, and I was there on a Friday. The doctor called me, and he's saying that I sent over the report to them. And, and I said, no. And he said, let me check my email. And he realized that he didn't send it he just um right type it up and didn't send it and he called me back and I, the lady gave me march he called me back and he said stacy prepare yourself to do the surgery i'm going to pay the hospital i'm going to pay the hospital until the, the insurance is sorted out and i did not know the full cost of that surgery i did not know the moment when i found out the full cost was when I went back to the doctor to realize that his was five something and the hospital was four something and I the, the, the doctor allowed me to do a surgery without a cent in my pocket for give them to give to them that was almost a million dollar a doctor that fever was upon my life that moment when he said prepare yourself and come to the hospital nowadays if you don't have money to do surgery to do mri to do all these tests you have got dead but almighty god favored me favored me and i was able to do it i was able to do it because if you stay in god's will if you follow god if you do his will if you stand on his word if you be obedient to him if you follow what God wants you to do. Don't follow the crowd. The crowd is a sick-headed people. Sick from top to bottom. Make sure before you even say amen to what people are saying. You understand what your amen is about. Understand what you're saying amen about. Do not just say it because you like the person or because what a man can preach, what a woman can preach. Don't get caught in the trap of darkness. Don't get trapped in the act of darkness. Listen for yourself. God give you two ears. So we're not supposed to miss wrong. We're not supposed to miss wrong. We're supposed to hear it and rebuke it. Don't entertain it. Do not entertain wrong. Not because that person, not because that person help you to bring to come to Christ. You know, owe them nothing. You know, oh, nobody, nothing will help you bring you to Christ. Don't make them put nothing upon you. Say, I'm grateful if they're not living right. You can't agree with them. Learn to correct the word of God. Say, correct with meekness. Don't hug up the hug you up. Don't hug up sin. Do not bomb sin, people of God. And do not bomb the sin that we want to keep with us. And cremate the one that does not affect us. Because when you're married and you if you're not committing an adultery, that not affect you. So you're creamy at that, so that can go on, that's an easy one too. But the one that is affecting you, that is affecting God from accepting your sacrifice, you bomb it, and you hold on to it because you don't want to get rid of it. Get rid of sin. Get rid of sin. Get rid of sin, my brothers and sisters. Stand on the word of God. If you are willing and obedient, to the will of God, you will eat good fruit of the land, no matter what they happen around you. It no matter what they happen around you. God is a provider. 
God is a provider. He will give you jobs that you never qualified for. When I worked at the airport, I only have two look subject. Well, everybody have their degree and their master. I will work and get the same peer. That was God's divine favor in my life. If I should tell you guys some things that I went through, I may do not stop these children from serving God. When I was eight years old, I was living with my aunt. I mostly live with my aunt. And I used to go to the shop. I walk more than a mile or about a mile to go to the shop early in the morning, 5.30. When you, when you, you know, fall, you used to rake your roost. I wake up, I be on the shop, mother and Fenzik, Andrews and Icy Min almost every morning I'm on the road. And I was afraid of these mad people on the road. And I used to cry and I remember when I was on, I stopped under a mango tree right at Simit Field for those who know Westmoreland. I stand on, on, on the tree, at the tree and I said under the tree, God, if you protect me, me serve you. And I didn't remember what I said. But I, I realized as I passed that mango tree for years in my life, I am wondering where am I? connected to a tree what is it about a tree i am so connected to a tree is that even real and i remember when i was writing my paper for Bethel college and they were asking about growing up and all of this and sometimes i would at the gas station i was looking across the the, the street from the the, the the mango tree and i was what god what is it about this tree and i remember when i was writing the paper the god, god that i served bring it back to my remembrance this is what you said. It was so clear to me that you have made a promise. You made a pledge with God and you have to keep it. And because of that, there's no fear in me when it comes down to protection. I don't, I, there, no one can question me saying that God will protect me. Sometimes I find myself in some places in Kingston. I'm like, God, what am I doing here for doing some delivery, some, some hours? I'm wondering, what am I doing here? And I'm saying that there is no fear of protection. I don't fear that God will. God is not going to go back on his words. So I know that he's protecting me. Nobody can question how I feel about God's protection over my life. Put yourself in a position where you don't have to question God's faithfulness. You don't have to question God's faithfulness. And I remember a few months after, then it's just now the other day, 2020, when I remember the connection I had with the tree, it was cut down. When I had shaped my head, I said, God, nobody could have touched that tree until I remember the connection I had with that tree. Some of the things that God will do, God can protect you people. Choose God. Choose to be obedient. Stand on God's words. God already know the list of things you want. He knows what you want and what is good for you. Focus on changing your ways. Instead of focusing and asking him for things that he already know that some of us, some of the things that we ask for will not get us anywhere. And it will not get us anywhere. Change your heart. Change your heart. Let what come out of you, your, your, your soul, you, you always, we always hear, ah, what the man have a beautiful soul. It is what comes out. Speak of your soul. Do you have a a beautiful soul do you have a beautiful soul do you have a conscience that is sleeping or your conscience is alive and well god bless you all stand on the word of god stand on the word of god know god for yourself it is the end time god bless you all god bless you all praise god stay where you are minister what a word i'm telling you, i'm crying right here right now you see i'm really god. crying god hallelujah you know, God is so uh, God is so wonderful. Praise God. And as we were saying, praise God. You know, we want to see young people do well. You know, we want to thank God for your life. <coughs> Sorry, boy. Praise God. Hallelujah. What you are you giving your testimony? You have been saying your topic, praise God. Hallelujah. Praise it's God. So powerful. Will we, praise God. I want to remove the you, praise God, and let us make it, you know. You know we it goes for both of us. Yeah, man. For myself, goes for everyone. I want to pluralize. Mm -hmm. uh, will, we we. will we stand? Hallelujah. Will we, stand? So we understand the requirements of God. And I'm mm -hmm. telling you, I'm praise God. And when you see Brother Pino cry, you know me. Everybody know me. Even if I'm straight, you see Brother Pino cry. Hallelujah. I know that the, hallelujah, the ghost is upon me when I cry. Praise yes, God. Hallelujah. hallelujah. It's truly a blessing. 
Praise God. Hallelujah. You come with Praise God. God. I know you're living that life. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. God. I want to realize, praise God, to see that the Holy Ghost is working. Praise God. Hallelujah. Even in this ministry. Well, you never know. I don't think you know, and I don't think I don't even talk. I don't know what you're coming with. Whenever I call a speaker, to, I don't know what they're coming with. Praise Amen. God. And I was talking even from the week. Praise God. That someone will come back on this life to give a testimony. Praise God. Hallelujah. And that you know that the Holy Spirit now have you even. I'm, in, I'm crying. Right mm -hmm. now, I'm praise God. Hallelujah. Isn't God wonderful? Praise Amen. God. That's why we tell people that we overcome him, that him there is the devil. We overcome the devil by the blood of the Lamb Amen. and by the word of our testimony. Mm -hmm. To have big testimony, praise God. And they sit on them. Hallelujah. And don't realize that sometime. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. God wants us to testify so that Amen. others can see. Hallelujah. Can hear and come and to know and to see. Amen. You know, Brother Pinog, you know, when when the gentleman, when the doctor said to me that I must come, and when I, I was driving, I was just coming out of the courthouse, and when I stopped the vehicle, and I get out of the vehicle, and I was, you know, I was in ah, ah. I was, I, I just finished fasting the day before, and, and, I, and I needed that answer because i'm saying i did two section two c section already and this would be the third one god is this your will and when he called he was right on time when i was making the appointment because the young lady was giving me february 2nd and i said to her i have a surgery to do and she ended up giving me march just when the doctor called me and i said two weeks yeah try to get them doctor the hospital calling me to confirm i couldn't confirm because the insurance people were not doing anything they're not releasing the information that i needed they have an issue so i couldn't confirm and when i go the funny thing is brother you know i watch my dream play out in front of me when i went to, when i went in to put in the drip it was this young doctor who was putting in the drip and he wasn't wearing any gloves which is not safe and while he was doing it it was he wasn't getting the vein and so the blood come up in the in the thing that he was pushing and another doctor came over and he said that did the blood Pill on the ground. And, and wow. he said, Doc, you ever see this before? And the doctor said to him, You are too careless with your life. Where is your gloves? You are so young to lo use it, lose your life because he had never experienced. I mean, my blood was on the floor. Wow. I remember I got the dream that when I stand up in church, the blood was just all over the place. I remember when I get on the ward, a doctor was changing the IV as well. And my God, the place is full with blood. And the young lady just she's a doctor i should just get some napkin and try wipe it when my husband came he said what is this i said it's blood i said it's blood it was my when i said i watched my, my my dream played out in front of me i watched it played out in front of me we may not understand some of these dreams but fasting and prayer answer some of these questions god will lead you i did not understand from december i i need answers january come and done january start and it's scheduled two times, the 9th of December and the 9th of January, and it didn't work out. And it went to the 23. That's how back and forth I was going. I was, I was, I was stressed out. I was saying, God, I don't want in this time and age, I don't want to do anything that is not of you. I need answer. And when they see the doctor call me, the doctor surgery, he his his fee is is uh five hundred and something thousand. The hospital is five hundred and four hundred and seventy-five. And let me show you how. That's, that's, the right there. that's the bill and let me tell you something yes, my cost for the hospital hey. 95 000 that i had to pay and the doctor 163 thousand. Nice. i did not know where that money is coming from because when he Who said the hospital, he was saying that the bill was about 400 and something i was thinking it was just for him and the hospital I didn't know it was separate i went hey. to my bed and i uh, dream and i saw two money a red one and a blue one I don't know the red the blue one was a thousand dollars. The red one, I didn't know what it was. And when I get up the morning, I said, you know, my sister just because she's overseas, she's in the army. I said, she just buy a house. And you know, house go and kids and my, my my niece have sick cells, so she's back and forth at the at the doctor. And I said, you know, I'm going to take a brave heart and ask her to help me out. And she said she's gonna send me one thousand US. And when 
When I went back to the doctor, the doctor didn't, I have to be asking the doctor how much I owe him. The man not even, up. Not he said, doc, doc, how much money you owe you? How much the fever? Yeah, he was. the fever? The important so part. the fever of God. Oh, God. I said, it's Friday. Yesterday, Friday, I went in and paid. He now rushed me now. Call me now, nothing fee money. So and when I went there, the fever of God. When I went there, when, when I went there and saw him, and he told me it was 163, and I, and I came home and I, I texted the information to my sister, and she said, All right, I'm going to send you fifteen hundred dollars. Fifteen hundred dollars she sent, and it was just a little that I had to take out of my pocket to put on that money. Man. God, God is God good. Is good. Somebody that is, that is wonderful. Stop yeah. prayer, blessing prayer, and pray to ask God to change your ways and, and to lead you into Hallelujah. His presence and watch God work. Watch God. Work. Watch God work. Somebody start typing watch up. Watch God it. work. Of God. God work. We pronounce God the work. faith of God upon ever and each and watch every one of life this morning. Somebody said the favor of God. Amen. Praise God. And you were coming praise from, God. praise God, let me get your scripture straight, from Isaiah 1, right? Isaiah 1, yes, praise sir. God. Isaiah 1, praise God, hallelujah. And I'm saying, when we look on, praise God, before I want to just dissect verse 21, how is a faithful city become an harlot? Question. It was full of judgment, righteousness, love, in it. That was what is full of. But murderers. No, murderers. murderers. This morning we are saying, oh, no end up in this, we want to say, how oh, do we end, end up? up? Thank you, my brother. Hallelujah. Thank you. Middle age. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Elders. Hallelujah. Even mm -hmm. you know, how do we, Minister Denden and everyone, how do we end, end up? up? Uh, praise God. Mm -hmm. God created the beautiful, his beautiful heaven and earth. When he looked back, he said everything was good. Mm -hmm. How do we end up in this now? When you look and see, when you look mm -hmm. and see, when you look and see, now, hallelujah. Amen. Murder in spirit, hallelujah. When you turn on your TV and everything, mm -hmm. sometimes, even myself, but I've been afraid to go on the news, hallelujah. So, so true, myself too. Sometimes, you know what? Here, no news. True. How do Minister then then everyone? How do we end up in this? Mm -hmm. in spirit, a beautiful world in which God created. Mm -hmm. Praise God because of sin, mm -hmm. because of man rebellious heart. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hear what the verse is saying here. When we look back up to nineteen, Hallelujah. But if ye be willing and obedient. Mm -hmm. Shall eat the good of the land. Mm -hmm. It's a scripture that says, yeah. Disobedient children, praise God, hallelujah, will not live half the days. Mm -hmm. of the live by the gun, you know. die by it, live by the sword, you die by it. God, hallelujah. Mm -hmm. A lot of us don't want to take telling. If we notice, even true. we don't, not even we as Christians, yeah. sometimes it seems like we don't want to take the correction of what God's word is saying. We puff up with chest, we all miss a big man. Praise mm -hmm. God. Hallelujah. But hear what verse 21, verse 20 is saying. But if you refuse and rebel, you mm -hmm. shall be over with the sword for the mm -hmm. of the Lord had spoken and no minister still no, exactly. <laughs> so then, then our I think I don't know how we word. Mm -hmm. God had spoken and this morning mm -hmm. was going out to church nick and his you say right what's happening people they refuse to come conserve god mm -hmm. we're running away from the one who created us and look what we end up in this now mm -hmm. hallelujah but as mm -hmm. i said this morning praise god who have ears to hear mm -hmm. somebody type it up who have ear to hear let them hear and the other part she's in us is to hold on. We thought that over since we to tell somebody hold on to your position, stay your ground. Tell somebody mm -hmm. who 
hold on to God and change in arms. Mm -hmm. The minister warned us in time like this when you look what look what is happening right now. When me hear this morning, me say my wife, me know the know, me know the hear that one here, minister. Say, <laughs> say, for me, your people talk about you, I never know. Say when we go on, on YouTube, 22, 22,000. Me want to wonder if something can go so. Mm -hmm. 22,000 people already lost their life in mm -hmm. this earthquake. And that's why the word of God says, if you hear my word, I'm saying today, God, tomorrow, no promise. To me and you leave me the one year shop, me minister. For mm -hmm. me, they were here, so one, so one, that the figure. And mm -hmm. then, then say, Must I climb in? You go and climb more 22,000. Mm -hmm. 22,000. It's so sad, but it's a reality that is facing us right now. No, sir. Why, well, I me mean, I tell a man, say, If me not get saved, me tell this every day, <laughs> my good friend, if me not get saved, true, well, if me not get saved, why am I to run? Come serve God. Mm -hmm. and it's time to, as the minister oh. said, no only go pian pian, no only go pian pian and go work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, work for the devil around them, run surround. If we know, if we pian pian, him, him, him surround we with all kind of things that if afflict, afflict we. And it was last week, you know, minister, then they come with us, tap it to the spirit of mama and just as a mm -hmm. it and the devil wrap up so only go look mm -hmm. like. I look good. It's also only co yeah. fancy look good present. Mm -hmm. True. So we have to be careful of that sometimes too. Sometimes too, I know everything where we see look good, as we usually say when we got everything glitter gold. Everything glitter gold. Mm -hmm. so go pick up, and go pick up. Two minutes, we, we go pick up the pretty mango them. And when we come home and see no auntie, we don't want I look good. <laughs> Uh, Jesus, oh God. What a word, man. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What a word. Mm -hmm. Your kids, your kids they are there. Let them come and say hi, you man. They hear no poem because the little, the big one, um, she's had, well, she was the one who caught the, the flu. Yeah. And it, because God. I'm nursing her and my system is not yet up and about, I end up catching it. So her hair is um, all over the place. Oh, her hair is all over the place. Yeah. Well, you are the parents, so you know you have to, you know, well, if they are not, well, maybe another time. So we want to say, yeah, praise God, we want to pray with you too before you go. Praise God, hallelujah. Praise mm -hmm. God, hallelujah. And we want to, everyone on the live, praise God, let us just come in agreement to pray for the woman of God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Our Father and our God, our Lord, we want to thank you for your servant. We thank you, Lord, for your word on this morning. We thank you for her obedience. Lord, hallelujah, to even come on this morning in spite of that Jesus. Hallelujah. She's not feeling well. But Lord, oh God, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, she has made up her mind. She has determined to go all the way with you. So Lord, in the name of Jesus, as we come in agreement even now, Lord, and even what she have deposited in her spirit, Lord, in the name of Jesus, we pray that you may fill her up, Lord, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray for complete healing and deliverance and victory over her life. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, cover her. Lord, and you who started that good work in her life, Lord, will be able to accomplish it. Hallelujah. You said we overcome him. Hallelujah. By the blood of the Lamb, by the word of our testimony, our testimony. And we thank you, Lord, for her testimony this morning. Hallelujah. Jesus, oh Lord, we pray we know that you may cover her, Jesus. Cover her on the road. Cover her on the job. Wherever she go, let there be no lack in her life. That is Jesus. Cover her host her children, her husband, Lord, oh God, and even as she speaks, it seems like her husband is not yet saved. But Lord, in the name of Jesus, we pray that you may save him before the time of too late. Cover now, with Jesus. Cover this heart. Word to our hearts, that is Jesus, that the devil may not save it from us. Jesus, we thank you now That's for hearing right. and answering our prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So what, amen. Hallelujah. What a word, minister. Praise God. In my seat, I can't move the word this morning on. Hallelujah! So be blessed, woman of God. Amen. And I know, praise God. Give my love to Pastor Clive Abraham from all of us here from the Gate Ministry. Praise Good God. Those, uh, yes, give my give our love to him. Blessing everyone. Take care. Praise God. Good and we talk. wholeheartedly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. We'll talk and thank you for the word. Thank you. Okay, for sir. The word. Blessings, blessings.
<laughs> praise God. Hallelujah. And somebody ought to give God a praise. What a word. Praise God. Hallelujah. What a word on this morning. Somebody say what a word. Praise God. Somebody say what a word. As we are waiting now, praise God. We have three, praise God, three anointed people to come on. Praise God at this time. We have Evangelist Fedabri, Evangelist Claudia Slowly, and Evangelist Peter Reed. But first, we want to hear, praise God, Evangelist Fedabri, wherever you are at this time. And everybody sit here. Praise God, would you just mind call in now? Praise God. To do it. As we are in now, praise God, this segment, the word is already gone forth. And he said, wherever his disciples go, signs and wonders will follow. Praise God. And we are in it healing and deliverance service we are a ministry that believe in healing and deliverance so at this time we want everyone who have a prior request to place it now in the commentary we have some anointed people praise god to come on now to pray over the lives of god people and to intercede hallelujah on behalf of the nation and every home at this time ivan Darby, get yourself ready ivan Claudia, slowly get yourself ready and also evangelist Betty Brown will take us out, will close us out. Praise God. So I want everybody to get this out now. Evangelist Fedabri, our evangelist Claudia, slowly, anyone first want to come now? Praise God, please, to call. Tell me one thing that prior can do. Show me one place where prayer won't take you. Hey, when you down, deep down, sin. Praise God. What a word. The prayer you pray. What a word. Praise God. Let me say good morning again. Evangelist Fedarby. What a word. I'm telling you. Praise God. Hallelujah. I'm so blessed. I'm I'm stuck in my seat right now, my good friend Ivanis. Praise God. Hallelujah. I'm blessed. I'm blessed too. What a word, man. I'm telling you, I would like to see young people. Praise God. That's why we're saying every day. That's what we are saying every day. Young people, we are saying, if you are a minister or if you are a nurse or a doctor or whatever, when God is in your life, man, you're going to be the best doctor. You're going to be the best minister. Hallelujah. Exactly. You're going to be the best of the best. Hallelujah. Praise God. And we want to thank God for Minister Stacy. Praise God. Hallelujah. This is one part of the Get It Ministry for us. Praise God. Hallelujah. To encourage young people because we want to sit down now. Hallelujah. And for them to take over the button. Hallelujah. Jesus, the son of the living God. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Praise God. Hallelujah. This is what Jesus, when he was on earth, hallelujah, he go to, hallelujah. He sit, where is God, among sinner. He sit with the unsaved. He sit with the man on the corner. He sit with young people, hallelujah. He sit with the woman of Samira, hallelujah. He sit with the harlot and show them that, praise God, to come to serve. God, hallelujah. And this morning, Amen. that's our only aim. That's what the gospel is about, to encourage Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. To encourage people to come to serve God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. At this time, uh, praise God. My beautiful evangelist, praise God, Faith Harvey, the clerk for this ministry. Praise God. The floor is no yours as we are in intercessor prayer. And at this time, praise God, wherever God lead you, praise God, you can just go ahead now. Praise God. Heavenly Father, as we start a new week, I want to pray for everyone. I ask for your blessing and help. I pray that you will comfort the sick who are lonely and hurting today. Let them, let them feel your presence. Fill them with your hope and give them peace. I ask for strength today for all your people around the world. Fill them with wisdom, your divine wisdom, to lead the life that you would want them to lead. And I ask for financial 
physical and spiritual blessings on them. May your perfect will be done in all of our lives today as the Holy Scripture continue to lead our way. We give you all honor and glory. We ask for your perfect peace. Father God, grant us your peace and understanding. You are the Prince of Peace and we are yours. We are yours and we and want we want to rest in your father god cover us completely with peace your words says it will guard our hearts lord we ask that your peace guard our hearts and we praise you for this gift lord jesus take away our fears worries anxiety and exchange them for your peace father god you are able mighty full of power sovereign and the god of peace father god help us to trust you and know that your words are true god we want to rest in you today moment by moment let our hearts be found in you in your mighty name we pray amen praise god praise god and the prayer for righteous man man or woman the prayer for righteous man or woman avail it much praise god and he amen. said we should make our requests be known unto him. Hallelujah. He even told us that if he asks for bread, he will never give us stone. Hallelujah. And tell somebody, praise God, continue to pray. Hallelujah. Until, hallelujah, something happen. Tell somebody, yes. continue to pray until something, something happen. happen yeah. Continue to pray until your breakthrough come through. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. We want to thank you. Pray. God, Evangelist Fidarby, the clerk, praise God. May God continue to bless you. Praise God. Hallelujah. As we, praise God, stay on the live. No, praise God, everyone, for we are in, praise God, the segment of prayer. Hallelujah. So we want to thank I you, Evangelist Fidarby. I need you to continue to pray, pray me up that I improve in my prayers because I'm working on them very hard. That I can come forth with it, you know, that I can able to express the feeling and the thoughts that come in me. Because right. I, I, there's a lot of things that come up that I, I would want to pray for. And so I need to be able to excel in how to present myself in, in, in praying publicly. Because it's okay if I pray quietly, but coming forward to pray publicly. Is like something I've never done before. So I need to improve in that area. Praise God. And I'm saying, man, don't worry yourself, man. You are doing well. You are doing good. Praise God. You are getting there. Praise God. Thanks. Hallelujah. You are getting there. I'm telling you, praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Nothing don't come overnight. Hallelujah. Praise God. Even, praise God, when God created heaven and earth. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. He do it, praise God, in more than one day. Hallelujah. So nothing now going to come overnight, but you are getting there, Valis. Praise God. As Thank we will continue to pray, just continue to trust God. Hallelujah. Just continue to trust him. Praise God. Hallelujah. You are doing Thank good. You are doing good. Thank you so much, Evangelist Fedarbe. Praise God. Yep. Hallelujah. Search within. Praise God. And we are taking all the prayer requests. We see all of them. So we are just taking a note. Praise God. Hallelujah. At this time, we will be waiting. We are waiting now on Evangelist Claudia slowly. The Evangelism Director to come as Evangelist Betty Brown, please to get yourself ready, please to log yourself in the chat room. Tell me one thing that my you can do. 
Show me one thing that prior can't do. Tell me one place where prior won't take you. Hey. When you down, deep down in sin, cry your pray will search within. Tell me one thing that prior can do. I can't explain how hard it's been coming up in this world of sin. So many times. I almost missed my way, but it's the prayers that I pray kept me through. Praise God, wherever you are, Ivan is Gloria Slow. These lonely days, please, I'm asking everyone to put in your prayer request. Show me one thing. Yes, Ivan is on the top of my good friend. I see your prayer request. The prayer. In Praise God. Yes, Sister Pavlene Gardner. I remember your prayer request already. Praise God. Just want everybody to just stay online. Tell me one thing that prayer can, can do. Show me one place where your prayer won't take you. Hey. Cause when you down, deep down in sin, the prayer you pray will search within. Tell me what thing the prayer can do. You know, friends, there was a time in my life when I wouldn't. Praise God, Evangelist Claudia, slowly wherever you are, and Evangelist Betty Brown. Please to log in the chat room, Evangelist Betty Bro. I used to say, What good is prayer? Prayer take too long. I need things done now. But then I realized that prayer is the answer to any and every situation. It can move mountains. It can change anything that the enemy has planned against your life. So when life beat them, remember to get down on your knees and pray. Because prayer changes things. Mm -hmm. Tell me one thing that you pray and do. Hallelujah. Show me one thing that you pray. Oh, won't take you. Hey, when you're down and sin, the prayer you pray will search within. Tell me one thing that you pray can do. When you're down and sin, the prayer you pray. Search within, tell me one thing that a prayer can do. When you down, praise God, and if I'm gonna tap, I say, I believe in miracle. Oh, in sin, the prayer you pray will search within. Tell me one thing that a prayer. to put in all the prayer requests i just want to get all the prayer requests in so that i can take a note oh thank you jesus are you ready to worship let us worship you as we go into the holy of holies empty me lord my heart is broken as we go before God in prayer. There are scars on my heart that this world gave to me. Empty me, 
my soul is weary. My soul is weary, Lord. There are things inside only you can see. From all the holidays, the troubles, and the this morning what a word this morning sorrow. Sorrow. from all the tears that these eyes have seen from all the terrors and all as we go before God as we go before God this morning oh thank you Jesus Empty me, Lord, my heart is broken. My heart is broken, Lord. There are scars on my heart that this world gave to me. Empty me, my soul is weary. My soul is weary, Lord. There are things inside Only you can see From all the heartaches The troubles and the sorrows From all the tears Praise God, the virus blood is slowly We are waiting on this That these eyes have seen Ivan Respetti Brown, please do log into the chat room. From all the terrors and all the splendor. Lord, all I'm asking for you to empty me. Empty me. My heart is broken. My heart is broken. Lord. There are scars on my heart that this world gave to me. Empty me. My soul is weary. My soul is weary. Lord. There are things. Inside, only you can see. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Let me say good morning again. Yes, brother, Timothy, sister, Evangelist Brown. Praise God. Okay, Evangelist yeah, Betty Brown. Praise God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Seems like you're not able to log in. in. Praise God. But yes, I'm in the chat room. Praise God. No, you yeah. cannot come into the phone. Praise God. Yes. You have to come on the computer. Oh, I'm going to call in then. No, this is call in. You're calling in now. It's live, but you have to come into the chat room like we do it. I sent you the link already, so you have to, you have to still follow the link to come in. But, but my said, let let's check your camera and make. No, you you're you will enter the studio as a guest. The host can add you to the broadcast at any time. No, you're not live. Praise God. So okay, you can still go ahead, Evangelist. Praise God, because we are on the live already, and we don't want to interrupt the, so just go ahead praise god the way you are so is my time now yeah just go ahead yeah praise god okay okay praise god praise god praise god hallelujah father we just want to thank you thank you for a day like today i just want to greet the getting family greet the media i greet everyone around the world this man that are hearing us we give thanks to the almighty god who gave us life who gave us this assurance to be alive this morning among the living. We thank God for all that you have been doing for us. Thank God for the preacher this morning, the word that you have bring forth. 
we thank God for all that you have been doing. Crying righteous and eternal, Father God, we give you praise, we give you honor, we give you glory. We thank you this morning that we can come to you in whatever state we may find ourselves into. We can come to you, mighty God, just to give you thanks, Hallelujah. just to praise you for who you are, that you are the great high priest. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are the Jesus. king of kings and you are the Lord of lords. You are the Jesus. conquering line of the tribe of Judah. We exalt your name this morning Hallelujah. because you are high and lifted up and your glory fill the temple. Lord, we come to you because we know have no other one else but you. We pray, oh God, for those that heart have been broken. We pray for salvation for those that are not saved. We pray, Father God, for spiritual revival. We pray for passion for witnessing to those that are out there who does not know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. We pray for faithfulness to the ministry. We pray for outpouring of your Holy Spirit this morning, God, upon us, your people. We pray for joy in our life. We pray for contentment with life. We pray, mighty God, for broken of strength and wholeness. We pray for revival of fears. We pray for boldness intended into our godly given purpose. We pray, mighty God, for health and strength. We pray, God, for employment that will be employed. Oh, God, we pray for ministers of the gospel. We pray for homes that have been broken. We pray for life, oh, God, that have passed, hallelujah, and left loved ones here that are mourning. We pray for peace among your people, the peace that passes all human understanding. Make it remain and rest with us. We pray for those that are in prison. We pray, mighty God, for those that are in prison, innocent, don't even know why they are there. They are mourning and calling for help, but there is no one to help them. We pray, mighty God, that you will look down in your love and your mercy and show up their innocency. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah, we pray for those, oh God, that have passed away through this thing. Oh, mighty God, the dilemma, hallelujah, the stress, the worry, my God, in the name of Jesus. God, look what is happening upon the world today. So many blood are crying out to you for help. So many dead bodies, thousands of bodies have died without God and Christ. We pray, mighty God, that you stretch forth your hands of mercy upon your people. The world turn upside down. Hallelujah. Man refuse to acknowledge and accept you as Lord of their life. We are setting your word so in the days of Noah. So shall it be in the coming of the Son of Man. God, we have seen signs and wonders all over the world. We pray this morning, mighty God, that we touch and save to the uttermost. We pray for deliverance. We pray for victory this morning over circumstances. We pray for victory over situation that we may not understand and that we cannot do. We pray, God, that for the Christian believers, that they be rooted and grounded in you, knowing that your coming is at hand. We are to be prepared and be ready. We pray for those that are not saved, that they will see the life that we are living, that our lives speak, mighty God, for us. We pray, God, that you'll allow them to see and know that you are God, and whatever you have done, you have done it, and there's no one can change it. Only you, almighty God. We pray for the sick that they will be healed. Oh, God, so many are in deep pain this morning. Know not what to do. The doctor and earth cannot help some of the situation, God. We ask your mighty God to help this morning. Those that are in pain, oh, God, in the name of Jesus, my cancer. Hallelujah. Eyes have been blind. Foot have been broken. And hallelujah, have been crippled up. God, we know that you are God and you are a doctor all by yourself. You can doctor any situation. We pray, mighty God, for the minister that they will stand their grounds. Hallelujah. And trust in you and let the people of God acknowledge the truth and know the truth. Hallelujah. The truth is hidden. Glory to God. Let the truth come alive to your people. Amen. that they must repent and turn to you because you are the only God and true and living God 
who can answer his prayer. I pray, God, that you give us the key, the key to your heart, yes. which is prayer, mighty yes. God. Help us to pray and read the word of God and understand the word. My God Almighty, look at the message this morning. Yes. Hallelujah. We must stand on ground. Yes. Stand on God's word. Believe God's word. Live God's word. Hallelujah. Because it's the key to our life. This morning, God, I just want to give you praise. I just want to give you glory. Reach out this morning and touch to the uttermost. Touch your people, my God, that are crying out to you this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, look down upon us this morning, God, and have mercy. Mercy, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We give you praise this morning. We give you glory, Lord. We give you honor. We give you worship. No, God, it is you and your holy name. I said, any man being Christ Jesus, they're a new creature. All things are passed away. And behold, all things become new. Yes. Help us to live a new life. Yes. Help us to live a new life, God, yes. because you gave us newness in our life. Glory. Yes, and we must be Glory. changed. Hallelujah. In the twinkling of an eye, you shall put in your appearance. No man know when you will come in. We must prepare our soul to meet you yes. in your coming. Yes. We pray, God Almighty, for the ministry. We pray for the head of this ministry. God, you are God who answers prayer. You are God who hear us prayer. You hear our prayer and you answers. Hallelujah. God, we give you praise. You answer prayer. Hallelujah. I am a witness, God. I am a witness for you that you answers prayer. I didn't know that I would be on the air this morning, but because of your love and your grace. And I give you thanks, mighty God. I give you thanks, hallelujah. I give you thanks for my family. I give you thanks for my friends. I give you thanks for my relatives around the world. I give you thanks for your people in the name of Jesus. Lord, remember those that are sick in their body need a healing. They have been suffering for years like Job. Lord Jesus, and they are waiting on you, God. They are still waiting on you for healing because they have an expectation, mighty God, that one day you will heal their body. I pray this morning, God, for the prisoners again that are in prison. Innocent. Innocent prisoners. Hallelujah. I was listening to a young man last night and the court. He went to prison for seven years. Mm. Innocent young man, he don't mm. even know why he went there. He don't even know they put him on death roll. Hallelujah. Mm. Death roll they put him on. Glory to God and God Almighty in infinite mercy. Mm. Intervene. Intervene to our evangelist and turn his life around that he come out free. Yes. Free man. Yes. Free. Hallelujah. God, we give you praise. So many are dear in that situation. So we ask you, God, that you will change life. You will turn things around for your people in the name of Jesus Christ. Many are other parts of the world who are suffering through hungry, nakedness, homeless. We pray for them this morning, God, that you have mercy and that you open doors, open entrance for them, God, that they will be able to live the life that you gave unto them. We pray for the children of this world, every child, mighty God, every young girl, every young boys, we lift them up before this morning. God, even those that using their gun, hallelujah, because of vengeance, because of demon possessed, we pray for freedom for them in the name of Jesus. We pray that we set them free, mighty God, that they put down the gun. Help them to realize, God, that they are not of themselves. Hallelujah, and other forces. We pray this morning, mighty God, that you will deliver them. Deliver them, we pray, mighty God, in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Some are sick in bed, can't even move. My God, we ask you this morning that you will touch them in the name of Jesus. Knowing that only you alone, God, only you alone, only you alone, only you alone, mighty God, can help the situation. No care what they do, no care what doctor they go, no care what they do, there's no help away from Almighty God. So I pray this morning, God, that you will strengthen the believers. Strength the believer that are weak. Some of us are weak, weak. Hallelujah. Every little thing turned them over. Help them to be strong in their faith. 
patient and endurance, knowing the time of endurance and faith. Let us ask God, strengthen our faith in you. Strengthen our faith in you, God, Hallelujah. that will be able to see the end of a Christian journey. Oh. My God Almighty, look what is happening. Turk, Turk, Turk. This morning, God, many are mourning for their loved ones. Turks mash up completely by earthquake. Hallelujah. God, some of them, Lord Jesus, don't know what to do right now. Thank God for those that have gone over there, helping the situation. We pray that we strengthen them, God. Guide them and protect them from danger and harm as they continue to do the work that you want them to do to your people. God, we pray that we strengthen them in the name of Jesus. Remember the President of the United States of America. I lift him up before this morning, mighty God. I lift up President Biden before this morning. Let you cover him and keep him safe in the name of Jesus. God, remember the Republican in the name of Jesus. Remember the Democratic God. We call upon you, Jehovah God, that you will turn the table around, that they all come together in oneness. In the name of Jesus, know that your time is at hand and we are to prepare to meet you. Amen. Help us to prepare you, God, prepare to meet thy God. Hallelujah, because your coming is at hand. We pray for our point of a revival. Revival, mighty God, from the east, the north, to the south. Break out a mighty revival, mighty God, that you save cinnamon. Hallelujah, cinnamon, know that they are sin. They are sinners, hallelujah, and they need to change their life. They need to turn their lives around. We pray in the name of Jesus. We pray, oh God, for the ministers that are preaching the gospel, turning the Bible upside it down, covering the truth, mighty God. Hallelujah, and to realize that the one day they have to stand before the almighty God and give an account. I pray, God, that they preach the truth to your people. That they hear the truth and yes. turn their life to you in the name of Jesus. Some are preaching because of fame and fortune. Hallelujah. Some want to be carving houses and all those things. But God will lift them up before this morning mm -hmm. that they will stand and preach the gospel, as you have said, in the name of Jesus Christ. God, we look to you this morning. Yes, we look to you, Heavenly Father, as you minister to us continually. Minister to your servant, Brother Gettin. If you're in the name of Jesus. We ask the God to take him to a higher heights and deeper depths in you. We pray, God, that we strengthen yes, him as he continues. Help him to be continue faithful yes, yes. unto you, God. Bless his family yes, in the name yes. of Jesus. Extend and burden their other uh, territories. Uh, we pray in the name of Jesus. Enlarge his territory, yes. mighty God, in the name of Jesus. Lift him higher, we pray, God. Oh, God, and all of us that are in the Gettin's family, mm -hmm. we pray for a special anointing. We yes. pray for a special anointing yes. upon our life. Yes. Open up our spiritual eyes that we're able to see and help us to go forward and deeper depths in you, God. And we give you praise this morning. Thank you for your word this morning. Thank you, God, for having me to pray the prayer of deliverance and intercede for your people. We pray for every sickness in Jamaica, hallelujah, and around the world. We pray that we touch your people this morning in a mighty and a special way, we pray. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, and we give you thanks. Those that are mourning for their loved ones, like my family, we ask your God for blood coverage, knowing that all of us will be going down. Hallelujah to our funeral. We ask your God that you cover us and keep us safe. Keep us safe, mighty God, in the name of Jesus. Cover us and the robe of righteousness. Keep us in a holy place in the name of we pray for peace that passes the only man understanding. We are with us all as we tell you thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. And before you go, praise Amen. God, Evangelist. Before you go, we have some prayer requests. Praise God. I'll let you do some and then I will do some also. Praise God. It's a tall list, so praise God. You maybe have to just praise God so much. You can go Thank through Jesus. like just a minute. Praise God or less than that. For it's a tall list. Praise God. The first one is for. Sister Pauline Gordon, she's on the live. She's asking for a special prayer. Praise God. So that's the first one. Sister Pauline Gordon. Praise God. Sister Pauline Gordon. She wants a special prayer. Praise God. So just go ahead and remind us. 
Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus, I approach your mercy seat again, Lord, on behalf of Sister Pauline. God, you know the situation about her. I don't know her and I don't know anything about her, but I'm sure that you know God. You know what she's going through. You know the desire for her heart. I pray this morning, God, for victory. I pray for deliverance. I pray, God, that you allow her to overcome whatever she's facing. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ that you give her, oh God, victory. Help her to be the head and not the tail. In the name of Jesus, help her to be above and not beneath. We pray her strength in God. Hallelujah. We pray, God, that you touch her from the crown of her head and to the very sole of her feet. Lord God, remember our family in the name of Jesus, that God will touch them. Oh God, whatever the situation is, you are bigger than, you are bigger, you are bigger, you are bigger than our situation, God. And you can just crumble it to nothing. And we give you thanks this morning, God, for hearing our prayers and answering Jesus' name. Bless your daughter in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And we tell you thanks in Jesus' name. Praise God. Another one is for, praise God. My beautiful sister and your sister in law is on the live, or, or sister in Jamaica, sister Yvonne Brown. Yvonne Brown over there in Jamaica. She's asking for prayer for herself. Praise God. We know that she has gone through, I guess, some operation there, and God is working on her, healing her back. So she still is asking for prayer. Praise God. Sister Yvonne Bless Brown. Bless the Lord of my soul and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. I I am not my holy lambs to the Lord. Hallelujah. This morning, God, I approach your mercy seat again in the behalf of Sister Eva, Ivan. We pray, God Almighty, we touch her from the cone of her head and to the very soul of our feet. Touch her hands, oh God, touch the heart in the name of Jesus. Touch the throat, touch the eyes. Hallelujah. Touch our entire body in the name of Jesus with your healing power. They say, Heal is the children's bread. God, you know whatever she's facing. You know what is going on in her life. I do not know God, but I lift her up to you this morning by faith in Jesus' name that, oh God, a healing will be healing. A healing will be healing in the name of Jesus. Because you said healing is the children's bread because you are wounded for our transgression. You are bruised for iniquity. The chastisement of our peace was upon you, Almighty God, and by your strife we are healed. Lord Jesus, I pray that I will touch her this morning. Whatever the situation may be, God, we ask your God that we intervene and that you will touch and bring deliverance and victory in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Touch the untouchable God in the name of Jesus and give your daughter the victory over every circumstance, over every situation, God. Over sickness and diseases, heal our body. We pray in the name of Jesus. I speak healing. I speak to our body this morning. Hallelujah. I speak healing in our body in the name of Jesus. Do what no doctor cannot do. Do what no other man can do, Lord. You can do it this morning. And we give you praise. Hallelujah. We give you praise. Hallelujah. 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 We give you glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. Seeing as is a tall order, praise God. Just stay on. I will just pray for two and then I pass back to you. Praise God. So just stay on. Praise God. We praise God. I know gonna pray for her. If I just learn her, you with prayer for her friend, Miss Lou, who has nerve and muscle problem. Hallelujah. Our Father and our God, Lord, we want to come unto you again, Lord. There's no distance in prayer. And here, oh God, your servant, Lord, as she has type of a prayer for her friend hallelujah you know her by name and number jesus oh god hallelujah so lord you are the one who create the body so lord hallelujah as the prayer request is placed now lord we pray hallelujah that wherever she is miss lou that oh god you may go even know that in jesus touch every nerve cell hallelujah every muscle problem we yeah. demand it now to line up and function in the way in which you have created it to function hallelujah said by your stripes we are healed so we claim healing now for sister, praise God, Miss Lou over there, praise God, touch now, heal and deliver and set her free in Jesus' name, hallelujah. Ivanis Faith Darby, hallelujah. Your servant asking also for prayer for herself, Lord. We pray, Heavenly Father, that oh God, whatever area, Lord, she's weak, we pray for now that we make her stronger, hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ, cover her now under your blood, 
Lord, she's so faithful. You have known, oh God, everything about her. Lord, Daddy Jesus. So, Lord, whatever request, Lord, we pray that you meet every request according to your riches and glory. We pray also for her grandson, brother Nigel. Jesus, oh God, who is so, Lord, disobedient, who want to go to school and to go to church. But, Lord, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, you told us that your word is powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword. So, we pray now that you may arrest him with your Holy Ghost. Hallelujah, Jesus, oh God. Help him now to surrender. Hallelujah. And to go back, Lord, hallelujah. To obedient to, oh God, hallelujah. We experience over there, Lord, and that he may be able to go back to school and to go into her house. Bless now, Jesus. Bless this family. Bless the walkers, the Darbys, and the Connell's family now from this day forth and forevermore. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. Evangelist Donna Tapa is also asking for prayer. Hallelujah. For herself and the family. Oh God and our Father, Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus, we come before you. Be glad to know there's no distance in prayer, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. And you hear us when we pray. So, Daddy Jesus, we place again your servant before you. The family, oh God, hallelujah. Oh God, the tapas family, Lord. We place them in your hand. We pray also for Brother Josh. We pray for open door over his head. Hallelujah. Jesus, you said, hallelujah, that any door you open, no man can shut. And any door you shut, no man can open. So, Lord, realize then that there are some, word, some doors to be shut while okay. some will be open. So, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray for an open door over Brother Josh now. We pray, oh, hallelujah, that you may cover him, cover this family, the tapas family, Holy Ghost, from this day forth and forevermore. In the name of Jesus, we thank you now for hearing and answering our prayer. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen and amen. Praise God. Evangelist, praise God. Betty Brown, praise God. I see you now. Praise God. Hallelujah. So at this time, I want you know to pray. For praise God. Evangelist and Parkinson, my beautiful sister, also praise God. My wife, Deacon Espinok, praise God. Hallelujah. For prayer for complete healing. Every pain as we come in agreement. Hallelujah. 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 By your stripe, Lord. Your word said we are healed. We believe your word this morning. God, I lift up Sister Pinup to you. I lift up my in-law, Sister Marian, to you. You have known the pain that they are feeling, God. You have known where the body, in the body that are hurting. We pray this morning, God, for revival. We pray for a touch of revival, God. We pray for healing that they can enjoy the fullness of your presence. We pray, mighty God, that you touch the nerve cell. Hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. Touch the pressure. Glory to God. Let everything work normal. Hallelujah, because we know that you're a doctor all by yourself. And you, there is nothing that you cannot do. There is nothing too hard for you to do, almighty God. So we come to you in the behalf of these, your two daughters, who need a touch from you right now, God. A speedily touch from you, Jehovah God. A touch of recovery from sickness in the name of Jesus. God, it's so long they have been suffering. Hallelujah. How long they have been suffering in their sickness and they have a God. They have a God who loves them and cares for them. God, they need help to serve you. They need help to serve you, God. The desire is to serve you. The desire is to worship you. The desire is to work for you, God. But how can they work with a sick body? They need body with strength and healing. They need body with health, almighty God. So we ask you to touch them from heaven. Glory to God. And we out every kind of sickness that is in their body and give them strength. Renew their strength, we pray in the name of Jesus, because you're a God all by yourself. You can do exceedingly abundantly. Above all, we could ever think or ask of you to do. This morning, God, I lift them up before you in the mighty name of Jesus, that God will bring about healing, that they can able to go about, hallelujah, where they want to go, do what they want to do, because you gave them life, hallelujah. You gave them life abundantly, so they need health in Jesus' name. So I pray, God, 
that we touch them from the cone of their head yes. until we have a soul of their feet. Whatever is in the body that causing sickness, we pray, God, that we erase it by the power of the Holy Ghost. Erase it out in the name of Jesus. Give them good health and prosperity, we pray, in the name of Jesus. Give them a new body. Hallelujah. A new body. Glory to God. New pressure. Glory to God. New heart. Hallelujah. New kidney. New lungs, glory to God. New feet, hallelujah. New stomach, in the name of yeah. Jesus Christ. God, we pray this morning yeah. that we touch them and give them a new life. Yeah. Touch them, I pray, in the name of Jesus. Yeah. That they have a wow. testimony. That they have a testimony of your goodness wow. and your mercy. We pray, God Almighty, that we touch their areas yeah. wherever they are, Lord. Yeah. Touch wherever they go, order their steps in your word. Where they sit, mighty God, sit before. In the name of Jesus. Whatever they hang, hang it before God. Touch it, I pray, in the name of Jesus. And give them the victory. That they have a testimony what you have done. And the goodness of God's mercy. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ. That God will give them traveling mercy. Where they're going back and forth. Wherever they go in God, give them traveling mercy. Help them not to cart up the wrong place with the wrong crowd. Weed upon them, we pray, mighty God, in the name of Jesus. We pray, God, that you give unto them peace that passes all human understanding. May it rest with me and abide with them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. And Lord, we thank you for what you have been doing. We thank you for what you have done already. And we thank you for what you have been doing even now. And we thank you for what you are about to do. In the name of Jesus. Touch Brother Pinnock again, Lord. The husband of Sister Pinnock. We pray that we touch him. Mighty God, that he continue faithful to you. As long as you call him, mighty God. Help him not to be refused. Help him not to be tired or weary. But keep going on in the strength of the Lord. I pray for my brother Vincent. Hallelujah. Oh God who tried to turn away, try to run away from God. But he run, he cannot hide. I pray, mighty God, that you will knock him down. Jehovah God, that he surrender to you. He's singing, but he needs to surrender all to you, Jehovah God. And we're calling upon heaven in the name of Jesus to do what no other man can do. And we give you thanks this morning in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Amen. Praise God, praise God. This one is coming all the way out of Jamaica. Praise God. From a beautiful cousin over there. Praise God. Ivan is Ivan Forrest. Praise God. She's asking for prayer because yes, for poor circulation. Poor circulation in her feet. Praise God. That's a beautiful cousin over there. The Forrest family. Praise God. Ivan is Ivan Forrest. She's asking for prayer. Praise God. She's asking for circulation. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus, you gave life. You gave life. And you gave it more abundantly. We thank you this morning that we can call upon you in the behalf of Sister Ivan. God, in our situation. Oh, God, remember Sister Marian Cousin, yeah. who is now in the hospital. Hallelujah. I surrender all to Jesus. I surrender all to Jesus. All to him I freely give. I will ever love and trust him in his present day believe. God, you see these people that are sick are calling for prayer. God, we pray that we touch them with the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. We can do nothing, God. We only can come to you in the behalf of them as they request, Lord. Hallelujah. As they request this morning for prayer. God, they know that prayer is power. They know what you can do through prayer. Yes. Uh, God, because there are, prayer, there are powers over distance. Wherever they are this morning, you can touch them and deliver them. Hallelujah. Because the prayer for a righteous man availeth much. It heals the sickness. In the name of Jesus, it heals every wound. The glory to God. It dries up. Every area of sickness, he dried up, hallelujah. Dry up in the name of Jesus. Dry up in Jesus' name. Every sickness, almighty God. 
dry up this morning, mighty God, that the testimony will be yours, God. The Please. glory and the honor will be yours this morning. You Lord. see your people that are suffering to sickness, this mighty God. We Lord. call in heaven for help this morning. We call in Lord. heaven for help this morning. Help. Help. Heaven help. for help, help. glory help. to God. Dispatch your own angel, mighty God. Oh, glory to God to sweep Lord. over their home, to sweep Lord. in their yard, to sweep around their bed. Sweep inside yeah. and outside, yes. mighty God, and bring about healing. Destroy every yoke, hallelujah. Destroy every yoke this morning, mighty God, and set your, set your people free this morning, God, from sickness and disease. God, had it not been for you who is on our side, where would we be? You know, you never tired of hearing calling upon your name. You never tired of hearing calling upon you, oh God, for healing. For a touch from you that make a change, you know. We pray this morning, God, that we touch it that even. In the name of Jesus, touch it that even. And Sister Mary and cousin that is in it. Sister Nana. And this is Nana. Hallelujah. Yes, God, they bring her name to me. Nana. Hallelujah. Nana. Mama Oshai Baba. Mama Maka Sataya. Mama Kutaya Mahandaya. Jesus. 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 Lord. Heal the foot, heal the body, heal the heart in the name of Jesus. Whatever is your will, God, let your will be done. And we give you thanks this morning, mighty God, that you open heaven door and see us and hear us when we call upon your name. We honor this morning and we give you glory and we lift your God for who you are. That you are the Christ, the Son of the living God. And we praise you this morning, even me, God. Cover me under your blood. Put on your robe of righteousness. Put on your robe of blood over me. And keep me safe in the name of Jesus. For God, we know that we are in a spiritual warfare with the enemy. Hallelujah. So we are warring with the enemy for your people. So I pray for coverage in the name of Jesus. Cover your servant, brother, get me in the name of Jesus. Keep us covered under your blood. That when the enemy comes in like a flood, the Holy Ghost of Almighty God will lift up a standard against him. And God, we give you praise. Be healed, my sisters. Be healed in the name of the Father. Be healed in the name of the Son. Be healed in the blessed Holy Ghost. And God, we thank you. We thank you for a healing virtue that reaches to the people to your people. Mm -hmm. We're distant away, God. Thank you for healing power in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. One more praise God is coming in from Evangelist Sonia Simit. She's okay. asking for prayer for her family and especially for her son, Donovan, in Kingston. Praise God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to God. Lord, we thank you. We thank you, Father God. We give you praise. Remember, Donovan, who is living in Kingston. God, we know that the Kingston becomes a dangerous area now. Oh, God, so we ask you for coverage over him and his mother. Oh, God, we ask the entire family we lift up before you this morning, mighty God. God, you know, I cannot do nothing. There's nothing I can do. But I know you can do all things if we only believe. You can do all things because yes. all power is in your hand, Almighty God. And you can do exceedingly things. All we have to do is have faith in you and trust you. I pray this morning, God, that we intervene into the entire family. We pray that we touch each one this morning, that they discuss, Lord, I feel the touch of God. I feel God doing something for me. I've seen where God has done something for me. I see what God has done. God, I just want to praise you for this family. I just want to give you thanks for this family. May you breathe the breath of life upon them. Breathe upon them, mighty God. Breathe your ear upon them in the name of Jesus Christ. And keep them covered under your wings. Keep them safe under your wings. Anyone in the family, mighty God, that are sick, we ask for healing. Anyone in the family that are confused, may you bring them back to yourself. Anyone, mighty God, that are tormented and miserable, give them peace and contentment, knowing that you are in charge. Hallelujah. You are in charge, mighty God, over this family. Take care of them, my God. Watch over them and keep them safe, we pray, and heal and deliver and set free in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our Father and our God, Lord, hallelujah. hallelujah. 
glad to know, Jesus. Glory. You said one shall be a thousand and two shall put Thank you, Jesus. 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 Holy Ghost, pray with now, O God, for prayer for your servant. Pray for, O God, the rest of the siblings. Hallelujah, Jesus. Evangelist Rose Reed. Evangelist Rona Hewitt. Evangelist Marcia Lawrence. Lord, O God, also for her daughter in England. Praise God, Sister Candice, and all her grandchildren over there. Lord, we pray, Heavenly Father, you, Lord, such a, your servant, Jesus. Hallelujah. Kind hearted person, Jesus. Lord, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We pray for strength for this family. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, especially for Evangelist Jean McLean. Oh God, we pray that you may cover her, Jesus. We pray for strength for her on the job going to Lord so many times. She shall have tears some night, Jesus. But Lord, in the name of Jesus, we will continue to look unto you as we lift up this family before you. In the name of Jesus, bless her going out now from this day forth and forevermore. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. amen. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. And how could we forget this? Praise God. Evangelist Betty Brown, before we go, praise God, because we want to close now. Praise God. But before you go, I want you to pray a special prayer. Praise God. For us in America. Hallelujah. We want to pray a special prayer for America. Praise God. And then for the rest of the country. Praise God. To Turkey and Syria. Praise God. And then we can close out after. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. Amen. This morning, God, we come to you. We need your bread. Hallelujah. We need your protection. We need your direction. We Amen. need your leading, mighty God. We need your teaching. Father, here I come to you again. Hallelujah. For the place of your United States of America. Turks and Caicos, mighty guardian Syria. Lord, I lift up this place before you. I lift up all the leaders, hallelujah, for this country. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we pray, God, that they are so discouraged right now. They don't know what to do, God, but give them a second peace. Give them a peace, God, that passes all human understanding. Let them know that you are God and you are in charge. Hallelujah. And you will lead them and you will direct them. I pray, God, for, to, for unity, that they have come together in oneness, in unity, mighty God. Let them understand. Hallelujah. Because they know that your time is at hand. And when they see all these things is happening, they must look up to you. Father, I pray this morning that they will touch them again. Hey, God, in the name of Jesus, everyone that living in America, hallelujah, we pray, God, that help us to look up to you. Ah, oh, God, you feed us, you close us, you shelter us, God. Help us to look to you, mighty God. Oh, God Almighty, who is the caretaker for our land? Who is the caretaker for us? This morning, God, remember us, we pray. Remember the United States of America. Your word has said, God bless America. But the thing that is going on in America, has turned your heart, has changed your mind, glory to God, because the sins of America have reached to the natural of God, and it stink, glory to God, but you're still warning, you're still loving your people, you're still warning the nation to turn to you, because you're a God of peace, you're a God of love, you still love us, no care who we are and what we do, you still love us, because you look beyond our fault, and your sought our needs. Mm -hmm. I pray this morning, God, for the evil, everyone and sorry, the host of representative in the name of Jesus in the White House, wherever they're having their discussion, wherever they're having their meeting, let your name be represented first around the table, mighty God. Let them pray for direction. Let them pray for leading, knowing that they cannot do it alone. There's nothing they can do alone. They need your intervention. And I pray this morning, God, that we touch each and every one of them. Everyone that's in authority this morning, mighty God. I pray that we touch them, my God. Remember, even China. I pray that we touch the leader for China, the president for China. Uh, God, touch his heart, my God Almighty. In the name of Jesus, Syria. My God Almighty, touch their mind and their heart. Knowing the suffering of your people. God, they are calling upon you for help. We pray, God, that you will assist them. Assist them in their needs. In the name of Jesus. They know that you are God. And you can do anything you want to do. 
all power is in your hand. No man control you, God. You control your own self. Hallelujah, man, know that you run things. You are the government of this world. Hallelujah, you are the high priest of this world. Uh, God and man must bow to you. Man must succumb to you, God. Hallelujah, when man refuses to bow to you, and man refuses to succumb to you, then Lord Jesus, you left to do whatever you please to do. My God, I pray that we turn the table around in the name of Jesus. Let us see what is going on. War upon war. You tell us from the beginning of time that there will be war upon war, and it is still going on today. We pray, God, let us to look up to you for redemption, joy, and I. Breathe upon America. Breathe upon America, the motherland for the world. Hallelujah, the motherland for the world, mighty God. This country carry every nation, tongue, and language in the name of Jesus. And I pray, God, for a change. Make a change in America in the name of Jesus. Make a change in America. We need a change from Almighty God in America in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. My God, look down upon us. Look down upon sinner rising up, God. Sinner rising up, hallelujah. But you know it from the beginning of time. But only you can make the change. Only you, Almighty God, can make the change in America. Only you can make the change in Taiwan. Only you can make the change in Europe. Only you can make a change all around the world this morning. Yeah. And God, we're calling you for a change. We're calling you, Almighty God, for a change. We pray that we touch each and every one this morning. As they look up to the sky, they will see the sky in hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. That there's abundance of rain. Glory to God. There's abundance of rain about to fall. Help us, mighty God, to turn up our cup to receive that abundance of rain. My God Almighty, you bless us in such a situation. In a hard time, you bless us. In good time, you bless yes, us. You are there for us. Yes. As long as we call upon you, God. So we are calling upon you now for America. We call upon you for America. America, hallelujah. Mm -hmm. We call upon you for America. So many sins, oh God, are rising up in America. Hallelujah, sins of men of witches to your nostril, God. We pray, mighty God, that we touch some of the sin. They say, if we call it by name, we mm. go to prison. They send us mm. to prison. What mm. is going on in the world, Jehovah God? Stand mm. up for us, God. Mm. But we are Christians who believe in you, that you can defend us because you is our defender. Mm. We will always call upon that sin because sin, hallelujah, righteousness exalts a nation. Mm -hmm. But sin is a reproach to any man, any people. Mm -hmm. Mighty God, and this morning, God, we come to you in the behalf of America that you will make a change in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We pray, God, for Turks and Caicos mm -hmm. who are in dilemma right now, who are in problem, deep problem that is only you, Almighty God, can solve. In the name of Jesus. So we ask your God that you will bend heaven low and have mercy. Mm -hmm. Touch the workers that are there who volunteer to go. All volunteer workers. We pray God that you will touch their lives. Let mm -hmm. their life be a light. Hallelujah. A light be a shining light that shines throughout the world. Knowing that they are trying to help and save life. We pray this morning God that you cover them and keep them safe. Give them strength to do what they are doing mighty God. In the name of Jesus Christ. And God, we lift them totally into your care and into your hand. That you will do what none of us can do. You will do what no other man can do. Because you are Christ. You are the living God. And you are the Lord of our life. And we give you thanks this morning. Bless the ministry again. Bless each and every one that are listening and hearing our voice. We pray, God, that you can open doors. We pray that the blessing of the Lord will make them rich and added no sorrow. Mm -hmm. Everyone will be free from sorrow, despair and dismantled in the name of Jesus. Touch every heart and every mind this morning that are listening to our voice. This morning, God, we give you praise and we give you glory for this privilege and opportunity. This set up, mighty God, because you have set up all of this and we give you praise and we give you glory. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Praise God. Powerful oh, praise God. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise God. And as we are about to close, Father of God, we want to thank you and we pray, you know, God, hallelujah, thank for our beautiful island, Jamaica. And every you, island, Jesus, in the name of Jesus, represent you, home, every family. We pray for the answer. We pray for the backslider. We pray for every man on the corner, every ghetto youth. We pray for 
middle-aged elders and our young people. Oh yes. God, name Amen. Of Hallelujah. Bless yes. Lord, this morning, Lord, we yes. want to thank you. Hallelujah, Jesus. So we pray, Heavenly Father, that you may continue to cover. We pray for protection. Jesus. Jesus, oh God. Hallelujah. We plead the blood. We plead the blood in the atmosphere. We plead the blood blood of every Jesus. island, for every country, for every continent. In the name blood of Jesus. Of blood, Hallelujah. 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 Jesus, for you have given unto us power. You have oh, given Jesus. us weapons weapon that are not carnal, but they are mighty to the pulling down at every stronghold. In the, in the name of, name of Jesus. Jesus, up against principalities and powers Jesus. and rulers yes. of the darkness, 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 darkness of this world, wickedness in the name of Jesus, we pull them down now. Pull them down. We pull them down. We pull them down. Pull them down. Pull them down. Uncle, Holy Ghost, Hero, Hallelujah, Jesus, Hallelujah. We take away now every ammunition from the yes. enemy. In the name of Jesus, walking around with created havoc over Thank the lives of all people. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, Hallelujah. We are and we lake them no void and an empty under the mighty and precious name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you, Holy Ghost, for what you all have already done and what you're still about to do in the lives of your people. Hallelujah. Amen. So we give you now all the praise, the honor. Praise the Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Drop a prayer, drop a prayer for Sister Paulette for me. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Our Father and our God, Lord, we lift up. Oh God, your servant, Jesus, hallelujah. Jesus, such a wonderful servant of yours. Jesus, you know everything about her. Lord, so in the name of Jesus Christ, we lift up prayer and supplication unto you as we come in agreement even now. Oh God, we pray for healing, complete healing over her life and to her body. We pray that every member of her body will line up now and function in the way in which you have created to, to function. In the name of Jesus Christ, bless hallelujah. her, bless her household, bless Jesus, hallelujah, Jesus, Jesus. hallelujah, God, the give first family, Lord, hallelujah, Lord. oh God, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, hallelujah. your loved ones, in the name yes, of Lord, remember part this morning, in the name hallelujah. of Jesus, hallelujah, we pray for the God, God. hallelujah, and all the families that are known and associated, Lord, yes, and the past, of, oh God, sister Paul. Yes, in the Jesus. name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Hallelujah, Jesus. Jesus. We pray for love. We pray for unity. We yes, pray that Lord. we go to your will and to your purpose. Hallelujah. In the name Thank of Jesus. Jesus. We pray that there will be no luck. Hallelujah. Yes, we pray Hallelujah. that you will meet every needs according to your riches yes, and glory. Provide Jesus. Hallelujah. For this family. Both now. Come Jesus. By your power. In Jesus' name Jesus, we pray. We pray. In Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Brother Brown, I want you to come you. a shout before we go. Praise God. For we want to close up. God, but we want to hear a shout. Even a shout of hallelujah. Say something, Brother Brown. Praise hallelujah. God. Praise God. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Bless your Lord, sir. Bless your name. Praise Jesus God. Is God is hallelujah. Free. Praise God. And what a blessing to know. Praise God. You get it. Ministry can come to every home. Hallelujah. What a blessing, God. Hallelujah. Praise God. And we want to thank God for your beautiful wife, too. Praise God. Thank you, no. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Bless him, sir. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise thank you. God. Thank you. And we want to thank you. Yes, praise sir. God. Brown. I see you. Praise God. We see you are behind. You are beside, not behind. You are beside your wife. Total. <laughs> praise God. Hallelujah. Yes, and that's all we want. Hallelujah. Praise God. What a, blessing. what a blessing when they move together as one. Yeah, man. Blessing, 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 blessing. Yes, what we want to say from all of us, this is Evangelist Betty. Blessing, sir. Everybody would have known her. Praise God. She has been saved from a long time. Over back, way back over from in Negril. Praise God. So she will be the special guest speaker for next Sunday. Praise God. So we want to invite everyone out. Let us come and support the woman of God. She'll be coming. She'll be the special guest speaker for next week's Sunday. So be blessed each and every one. Love yes, you with sir. love of God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you so much, Brother Brown. Thank you so much. Praise God. And we want to say truly and truly we want to give God praise. 
Hallelujah. We want to thank God for every home. Praise God. And we want now everybody to clap yourself out. What a wonderful audience on this morning. Everybody stay for to know. Praise God. Yes, Minister. And what a word this morning. Praise God. <laughs> Powerful word, man. Powerful word. Powerful word. The minister is on the live. Praise God. We want to thank God Amen. for the word on this morning. I'm telling you, praise God. Hallelujah. Praise Amen. God. Amen. Praise God. What a ministry God has raised up. I'm telling you, even yes, myself. Amen. 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 In this ministry, God speaking to for us to write. I was saying, yes. I'm saying, Lord, how can I do it? How can I walk away from a ministry that I was in over some 12 years? Praise God. Hallelujah. <laughs> But I exactly. never knew him until God revealed everything to him. Praise mm -hmm. God. God, God um, played out right, played out so, right in the face. Sometimes just as me, praise God, even as Betty Brown is saying, that sometimes God has to knock, sometimes God has to knock you down. But you know yeah. why? God has to rise up. God has to allow a pandemic to come so that this get it ministry could rise up. Praise yes. God. So imagine. Yes, praise God. Amen. Amen. This Amen. pandemic, this get it ministry of a rise up. Praise God. Hallelujah. So yes. God, oh, yes. for had it not been for this pandemic, maybe Brother Pinock would even want to. Praise God. <laughs> God is good. God has his own plan. That's why I'm saying everything. Plan. That's why I'm saying everything. We must give God thanks in everything. Yes. Yes. Is Amen. Amen. Concerning us. Praise God. So yes. be blessed, everyone. Praise God. Yes, this sir. I you. We are one big family. We are located family. Here in Brooklyn, New York. Praise God, where we believe in love and unity. It's a ministry Amen. of healing and deliverance. God and God, thank God for each and every one. And this is you're your gonna hear, you're gonna you're gonna hear some powerful testimony. Praise God. And just imagine, remember, you know, we never remember, you know, remember if it was on the live. I talked sometime a couple days back. So somebody want to come back on this live. Sometime this week here for, with a powerful testimony. And we never know yeah. some minister. We have a minister there come this morning with that powerful All right. testimony. Yeah, man. God is good, man. God worthy yeah, of his praise. Yes, sir, that's one million please. dollar. Well, well, praise well, God. Somebody well, well, said well, well, one million dollar. What a testimony. One million dollar. And the doctor calling me in without saying, say, come. Yes. Yes. Money. Praise God. Who could it Only be? Only God could have done that, man. Only God oh. could have done that. Only Pray. God Almighty yes, could have done that. No one else. Hallelujah. Only God. Only God. A testimony. Yes, Not sir. Me fright this morning. Go. Praise God. Me fright this morning when we hear that a testimony. Praise yes, God. Glory. Glory one, God. One million dollars. Praise yes. God. No, yeah. And Praise that's God. the signing for it. Mm -hmm. Who is it be but God? No Only man. God, man. We ain't got that money, yes, man. Nobody can stop that. This are the talk. This are the talk for the, for the whole of this era, man. This yeah. Uh, this supposed to go viral. This supposed mm -hmm. to go viral. Praise God. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. God be the glory. That's the God we serve. That's yes, the God. Powerful God. Powerful God. 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 We are Amen. introducing to the world. Yes. Hallelujah. Feel God. That's the God we are introducing to every home, every community. Hallelujah. Everyone. Praise Amen. God. So we bless everyone. Praise God. And yes, sir. Yes, sir. Bless you, God sir. Out, clap yourself out. Praise yes, God. You too. Bless Amen. You, bless you, bless you. Praise God. Yes, we want to give God thanks. So be blessed each and every one. Love you with the love of God. And it's truly being a blessing for you. Praise God. To open your door. Praise God. Wherever you were. At work. Wherever. Praise God. And to allow us to come in. Praise God. With the word of God. Hallelujah. So we want to give God thanks for his many blessings. Be blessed. Love you, love you, love you all. Praise God.